All right, what is up, everybody? His Royal Fan is here. Welcome back to the channel and to today's live stream where I shall be playing the E100. Yes, good old E100. It's been about 10 months since I did a dedicated E100 stream, and I like to know what Wargaming have rebalanced it in update 9.1. I probably should give it a go. And so here we are today. Welcome to everybody in chat. Hope you're doing well. We got the turtle boy, bruh, ominous. Le <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce your name. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Unknown gentleman, HRF number one fangirl. Interesting username. Mars Nor. How's it going, guys? Welcome to today's live stream. Please do smash that like button. It is sincerely appreciated. Thank you very much. Hello from Germany. And man, hey, how's it going? Good to see you as always. Funzy, Tennessee. Hi, hi, hi. Hope you guys are doing well. And so, who's ready for some E100 action? Good old E100. Question of today's live stream. Is it better or worse than it used to be? What's the answer? It's a bit of a mystery. Although I think most people have their opinion. I put a poll up in chat. 85% of people say new 100 is better. 15% still prefer the old E100. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the changes Wargaming made, here's a brief breakdown. E100 gained pretty good amount of armor on the front of the turret. Not enough to be invincible to 340, 370, 380 type heat rounds, but enough for when you're angled, medium tanks really can't pen the front of your turret anymore. Hooray, hurrah. You also gained traverse speed on the hull, so now you have up to 35 degrees of traverse, which is pretty cool. But you also lost a second or gained a second on your reload, which decreases your DPM and your accuracy is poo poo compared to before. It's a bit more like a VK7201K's gun now. So, pluses and minuses all around for the E100. The question is, overall, are they better or worse? Today, I'm gonna be playing the E100. We're gonna see how does it play, how do I play it right now, and, and whether or not if whether or not I like it. Because, if I'm honest with you guys, I really haven't played the E100 in a long time. Actually, I've only played one game in it to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I haven't played what blitz since my last stream. I've been very busy. I'm sorry I was gonna do a lot more streams this week. We almost reached 30k. We're only about 200 subs away Probably would have reached if I'd streamed more but you know with semester starting up next week I'm quite busy. That's mustache on Hey, thank you very much. Okay guys Let's jump into some e 100 action. You guys know the drill What we're gonna be doing today is spawn sniping. We're gonna find every effective bush for the e 100 We're gonna sit the very back of the map. We're gonna let my allied TD spot for me and we're just going to chill and just see if the 100 is a better sniper than before, you know? Because uh, that's that's what everyone does in the 100 nowadays, right? It's 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 easily the best sniper out there. Fanis, remember the battle where I was saying how big of a fan I am? Logan Polo. Uh, maybe not. Most of the time, I actually run Blitz with my chat turned off, which means quite often I'm not going to see your messages. So, uh, probably not. I'm sorry, but I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So, let's jump right on into it. First game... It's a pretty decent map for the E100. T city maps are a lot better for the E100. Enemy team actually have double E100s. A YAG E100. M6 Yo, 57 heavy. 1 2 1 4 2 2. Very strong lineup for them. My team is a lot more mobile. So, as much as I would love to play into the town in this environment, and oh wow, that traverse definitely is a lot better than it used to be on the hall. Uh, the enemy team have a better heavy tank force. My team is much more mobile. Type 71s, M60, 422 Vickers, right? Chief to Mark 6, M60. Yo, I'm really the only super heavy that could fight in the town, and therefore I should probably just try and help my allies clear. Yeah, scene. let's do a TVP stream. Yeah, please do a TVP stream. Keegan, thank you so much for the donation. And you know what? TVP stream, probably not a bad idea. I should do it sometime because the tank did get some buffs. All right, so here's the situation we have here. This E100 is just kind of bopping up the middle of the map. Let's wait to see if he gets distracted. And if he does, we're going to aim a shell. Let's load up a 340 heat round. And there you go. That's that new turret armor. Let's just put an HE into him. HE is your friend. I am running Rammer on the E100 right now because I unfortunately do not like this very long reload the tank has right now. And I believe the best option for me right now is because I don't want to get stuck in a down fight over in the dunes. Our Chieftain Mark 6 is a bit isolated here against this 57 Heavy. So I'm going to rotate back to actually support him. 57 Heavy is farming out our Yo, and the Chieftain's about to create a bit of a diversion on this 57 Heavy here. 57 Heavy is trying to angle up, but will it be enough? It will not. 640 into the 57 Heavy. Our Yo is now pushing forward. He should hopefully be able to kill him. Very nice. And my team 
team is actually starting to lose the sea engagement. A bit of a surprise. I expected the enemy team to send more forces towards the town. But as you can see, they are making a break for it. And oh no. Oh, it's a M6 Yo's rear. Let's HE that. Ooh, yes. All right. So immediately getting a nice high explosive shell into Mr. M6 Yo. The Chieftain should have that based on DPM. And now I'm going to dive bomb into B cap to help my team clear out the mid. Team's doing okay for the most part. We have only lost a single player so far. This Yag seems to be a little bit isolated in the B cap here. He is currently not looking at me. So I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity while he's distracted to put a quick shell into his side. 592. We've already dealt 2400 damage so far. M60 is full sending it. May he stay alive. We're going to hug this side here. That way the Yag doesn't get any bright ideas and tries to shoot at me until I'm ready to put a shell into him. So let's see. Mr. Yeageru is a bit distracted. Oh, he fails to kill the M60. Let's put a kill shot into that man's there. Very good indeed. 1-2 on ramming himself into the M60, losing a ton of hit points there. And now it is just me and this M6 Yo versus this 1-2-1, 4-2-2, one, one, two, two, and whoever else is here. Let's put a quick kill shot to this dude. 495 low roll, but he'll ram kill himself anyways. Accidentally wasting double repair gets 4 2 2 getting up close and personal, but he has nowhere to run to. And now I do have this M6 Yo behind me. Let's try and pull away from this M6 Yo here. And with this new improved traverse speed, we should be able to shoot this 4 2 2 with HE shell. And oh no, we don't quite manage to do that. Disaster indeed. Unfortunately, that shell goes rather high. We're going to angle up to the 4 2 2. He shouldn't be able to pen me with AP there. Very cool indeed. We're going to wait for the see if this M6 Yo tries to put some shells into me. We're going to angle up to his side here. He does put one shell into me. We managed to take him down. I'm just going to try and traverse back here away from the 4 2 2. It's angle or hole. And please don't HE me. Please don't HE me. Come on, Yo. And our Yo is very much a useless ally. Unfortunately, uh, the Yo. I don't know what he was doing. He could have killed the enemy's yo when he was yoloing into the open. He could have killed the 422. It seems like this dude's a bit lost. I believe their E100 may have gone AFK. So this dude should be able to win easily if he just caps B. Bit of a mistake on my part, not killing that 422 there. But the e traverse B definitely was able to keep up with them, which is nice. The only one would have been circled a lot more easily. Well, let's see. M6 yo, you got this, buddy. Just kill him and cap B and you get the... <laughs> He's driving into walls. Uh, M6 yo, you have 1,300 hit points. He has 100 hit points. Just go. Just, just go, please. Just, just, just kill him. Just drive, just drive on top of him. Just, go, just go. It's you got thirteen hundred hit points. W what are you doing? Don't get baited by the hatch. <laughs> oh dear, dear me, dear me, dear me, dear me. I got a bit unlucky that game. Four two two throws away there. I gotta tell this dude the cap B, or we're gonna lose. Cap B, or he's probably, he might just go for the AFK. Watch the. Um, no wonder he didn't kill the yo or help me against the four two two. Yeah. Just, oh my goodness. There. Oh, he gets so much free farm. He didn't even aim that. Oh my goodness. This yo is so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first game of the 100 overall wasn't the worst case situation. I got absolutely scammed on the one to one with a sub 500 roll with AP shells. If I hadn't taken that extra shot from that dude, I would have been fine that game and I would have been able to farm all this out myself. But unfortunately, that low roll meant the one to one got another shell into me, which means the 422 was able to eventually pick me off there. The Yo was able to sit there and put two shells into me for free because, <laughs> well, yeah, we know the situation. Watch this dude not be able to out-reload the cap because he has a 20-second reload. Please don't shoot on the move. Just aim every shot, buddy. I believe in you. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. This dude's going to farm so much damage. He got 2,700 damage for free. Aye, aye, aye. Imagine when it comes back. Dude, imagine when it comes back last second and just kills him, but that would be kind of funny. Is he going to ram him? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that was an interesting first game of the stream. E100. So, armor profile. Honestly, you don't notice the turret armor too much in an engagement like that because you're not going haul down. So, I can't attest to the armor profile. DPM, though, was noticeable. If I had the one second off reload that I had before this tank was adjusted, I would have been able to out reload that yo before he could have put shells into me. The game would have been fine. Um, this dude got so much free damage there. Woohoo! Didn't even ace the tank, though. Okay. Well, at least we did win the first game. Hooray, hurrah. So, yeah. Definitely. Notice the damage per minute nerf there. The the yo was able to put two shots into me right before I killed him because I had one extra second on that reload. I would have only taken max, like, one shot there. 
if it was the old E100. Just throwing that out there. But the traverse speed is also better, so interesting. Uh, why do you keep panicking in classic car? Why do you keep pancaking classic cars? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you, I, I, I didn't mean to crush the classic cars there. <laughs> no hate to the classic cars. So anyways, well, that was an interesting battle. My teammates kept us very entertained for sure. Let's jump into the next battle. We are on Naval Frontier. The enemy team have a 60 TP, a T95E6, a VK9001P, K91 as well. They do have a Gorilla and a 704 and just an STB for spotting mid. So I'm sure the STB is going to spot me, maybe put a shell into me. Hopefully the girl's going to be too slow to get there to put a shell into me. But I'd like to take the heavy corner. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not like the most capable heavy tank player out there. I definitely thrive a lot more in medium tanks and light tanks. But I definitely can make heavy tanks work when necessary. So unable to blind fire the... Uh, STB1 there, sadly. And there was a VK90. Let's angle up our hull here. We do manage to bait a shell into our tracks. We're gonna go pull up and try and take the mid away from the enemy team. We do have an IS-8 going to the other corner as well. Here's the VK's lower plate, and the gun trolls me just a little bit. So, unsurprisingly, this tank does have a fairly troll gun, especially after the balance adjustments. So we're gonna try angling our turret here. If he's running rammer, he won't be able to pen me. And let's wait till he pulls back. He is starting to pull back. We're gonna pull forward ever so slightly here. Try and get a shell into the side of the K91. Very nice. Get a shell into him. We're just gonna pull all the way up to this corner. And now we are in a fairly safe position. So we're gonna Fatness wait till we're reloaded. PGA tour with Luigi's mustache. <laughs> Fat is with the PGA tour with Luigi's mustache. Thank you so much, Duggerly, for the donation. Do appreciate it. Uh let's see what we got here. Okay, so VK90 is still above us. STB is going for the bigger brain flank here. Now, it looks like we have lost our IS-8, and the K91 is starting to get just ever so slightly more aggressive. Not aggressive enough to really be an issue for me. Let's see the 60 TP gives me a shot. 515 to his side. We see where the Gorilla 15 is. The T95E6 is going down on the other spawn. That... That um, STB lost a ton of hit points there. Let's angle our turret forward just ever so slightly away from the VK90. We managed to ricochet a shell from his tank here. He is also facing us with his rear, so we should be able to pull over, put a quick shell to his side. 715, pull back before he's reloaded. Unfortunately, that grill is turning for me, but hopefully he won't be able to sit there for super, super long. I mean, if he tries to... If he tries to sit there to just sit there and shoot at me, he's definitely going to lose a lot of HP. Let's make sure it's act like we're looking away. Then we're going to pull back, baiting the grill. Nice little HE fire there. We're just angle up the hall and ever so slightly here. He shouldn't be able to shoot my upper plate, but he does go through, I believe, the very top of my tracks. Good shot by him. We are doing okay for now because the 57 is going to start pressuring him. And now this VK90 is being a little too aggressive. Let's put another shell to the VK here. Angle up our hull. So yeah, good old E100 action. Just doing super heavy stuff. We are definitely braining on this VK72 here. But I will have to be wary. My flank is very much in the open now. So let's just keep angling up our hull here. See, VK9 is going to give me a lower plate shot. 669. Let's angle up our turret a little bit here. Okay, so he is shooting APCR now. AP would not have been able to pen me there. All right, let's act like we're getting ready to kill said VK90 here. In reality, I just want to make sure I don't get crossfired out from that side. And now that Mr. VK90 is staying stationary to try and shoot at me, let's put an HE into him for kill shot. Grill is in the middle of the map now. Not a bad game. We have done 4,600 damage so far. Just chilling, outplaying the VK90 because, you know, bigger brain angling than him and the Grill sacrifices himself to the Yeageru. That was very courteous of you indeed, Mr. Grill. Okay, let's just go farm out the other two lads over here in this corner somewhere. I'm sure the 60 TP is over here. I don't know. 60 TP just wants to die, so let's put a kill shot into him and get ready to deal with the good old K91. I do think the traverse speed on the hull actually did allow me to, to work just a little bit better there. Because with that increased traverse, you can bait the tracks a lot more easily. And there we go. 5k damage. That should be maybe a first class in the tank there. Not too bad. Very nice E100 stuff. Armor profile works quite well. Not, I don't know how much we blocked, though. We managed to block 2,600 or so damage. 5,500 dealt. Nice little ace tanker to start the stream off. Well, second game of the stream. And yeah, I mean, in that situation, E100 felt very, very nice. DPM, while it was worse, in, in a one-to-one -one trading situation like there, it's actually not so bad. And that's what you really want to be doing in your E100. You don't want to sit there in the open and just angle... And all of that stuff, what you really want to do in your E100 is find a position where you're going to be relatively secure. Try and protect your lower plate and hull as much as possible and angle up. If It's even better if you can find a solid structure you can completely hide your tank behind. And then nuke players for 640 alpha 
every 15 seconds or so. That is ideal E100 gameplay. And that, and of course, just YOLOing into pl players that don't know how to deal with you and just destroying them. You, you could do that as well. So, good old E100 stuff. Let's pull on in towards BCAP here. We are on Yukon. This mouse is kind of cutting me off, brother. You should drive slightly to the right. Thank you so much. And the enemy team have a fairly versatile lineup. Uh, they do have a lot more mobility than heavy power. So I believe what I'm going to do here is actually be quite aggressive on the inside here. It looks like the mouse is going to go take the cap, which is cool. I'd like to start pressuring the enemy team pretty early. They seem to be just a wee bit split up here. And so if I can just pull around this corner, we should get the M60 in. Oh my, let's aim this in. Let's aim this in. Let's aim this in. Scope out for effect. Ooh, yes. 1,000 damage into the M60 to start the battle off with. That is a very good start. Let's angle up our turret just a little bit. 50B able to pen my upper plate slightly there, but he will not be able to push into me anymore. So enemy team are very much stuck around this corner. M60 felt the very much great pain of dealing with an E100. Mans is not running away. So let's put another HE into him. 889. Not really sure what he's doing there, but thanks for the 1800 damage with two shots. Very nice. 1900 damage. We'd actually double tap that dude for full HP. And the uh, Sheridan's over here on this outside lane. So it looks like the 50B Waffenträger. These dudes are getting a little bit aggressive. Waffle's giving me an HE. Oh my gosh. 1000 damage. We've done 3k damage with three shots. Is that not epic or what? Let's see if this 50B wants to participate to the HRF damage fund. Yo, 50B, would you like to participate to HRF Damage Fund? Oh, no! Mouse stealing some of it, but we have hit four HE shells to start this game off with, doing about 3,700 damage. That was pretty insane. I do like doing that very much. And let's start pressuring into this Type 68 K91. Now, I'm going to leave the Type 68 because, I mean, the K91 because he's going to die very fast here. No! No! Type 68 was the one I was going to leave. The K91 was the one I wanted to yellow into. But he's running away from me. So he's going to go down very fast. Let's go get ready to deal with the Sheridan and 183 then. So maybe if we're lucky, we can get a shell to the 183 for a, another 640 alpha damage shot. That was like the easiest HE farm fest I've ever had in the E100. Um, hello, mister. So let's go find Mr. 183. Hello, Mr. 183. I hope you're doing well. Hopefully your standard AP will struggle to pen me a little bit here. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, he's going around the corner. No, no, no. No one said you could run away from me, sir. No one said you were allowed to run away from me. Where where are you going? Where are you going? He's just like, maybe if I back around the corner, I'll be safe. No! Conway's doing some damage there, but we didn't get 4k damage. That was, like, very easy. That's fun. <laughs> I'll hop on right if you want. Be spamming it lately. <laughs> Those HE though, yeah, easy. Hey, hey, doggy, how's it going? Gentlemen, good to see you as well. All right, well, that was like, bruh. That was just a bruh game. I feel bad for the enemy team. They weren't, they weren't the best at all. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> this battle sounds like a tournament battle. <laughs> Fantasy Platoon. Nah, dude, tournament, tur nah, definitely not a tournament game. <laughs> to scare out of the chat, you went hard. It'd be for someone in the chat with, uh, we'll say, this is why you should run full HE, imagine. <laughs> I mean, full HE 100 is not the worst thing in the world. I mean, I've done it for some challenge streams. And also, stocky 100 isn't even the worst thing in the world. Just saying. HE shots go burr. I know, right? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Look at the lineup. We have two meds. 60 TP seems to be trying to persuade our meds to go C. If our meds go C with the 60 TP... Come on, meds. Go see. Help, help, help a homie out over here. The meds are like, nah, fam. We're going to go for A and B. So our meds are kind of throwing, but our 60 TP, 50 TP will take that left-hand corner versus the Progetto. I am pretty sure the enemy team will head on up towards the mid here. So I'm a little bit uncertain if I really want to commit here or not. So far, no one's popped into C cap, which tells me the Progetto might have pulled towards town as well. And if the 60 TP manages to take C, I should be fine here. So here's the wild Progetto. Progetto is indeed pulling up towards C. Let's pull away from the K91 while we can. Very nice indeed. And that's a Jagdpanzer 100. Let's pull back from this K91. He is giving me a little bit of a lower plate shot here. And oh man, that's that nerfed gun handling right there if I've ever seen it. That shot right there demonstrated what the 100's gun is like when it comes to snapshotting. And that's not a pretty sight. So the Progetto is just kind of big chilling over here, but it looks like he's getting ready to run away. Now the Yag did attempt to shoot at me. He is just kind of chilling in the mid here. I don't believe he has any proper cover fire. So let's get ready to put a quick shell into his engine deck, 670. Oh man, he rolls 900. That was a good shot by him. A bit took me a bit too long to push in on that Yag. So that was my fault for taking that there. And uh, I thought honestly thought I would have more gun depression than I ended up having here. So yeah, let's just try and avoid taking another shot from him. Wow, apparently he pens that angle as well. Chad Yag gaming on me over here. But 
let's see. Let's see. We might be able to put another engine deck shell into this dude. We're going to start pulling away from the Yag. Luckily, the Yag has pretty poor traverse speeds, but he might barely be able to hit another shell to me. I'm just going to back around the corner here. Hopefully, with the support of the 60 TP and hit friends, we should be able to take care of this Yag pretty, pretty quickly here. But wait for Mr. Yeager to get distracted. Mr. Yeager is indeed distracted. Let's pull forward here. Heat shell should pick up the kill. Oh, it's a low roll, but we are saved. Let's pull away from the K91. He is yoloing it to me. All we have to do is just angle up our haul a little bit here. We should be fine. Just keep angling and ah, too much angle there. Unfortunately, I was going to die for the left. I got game done by the Yag. See, this is why I'm a terrible heavy tank player. Anyways, my team did manage to kill the Progetto, but unsurprisingly, our dudes that went town got themselves wrecked, but our 183 is still here. Oh, come on. Kill the Fosh at least, buddy. I believe in you. Yeah, so a bit, a bit of a misplay on my part there. Yikers, underestimating the Yag's reload it really did cost me there just a bit that game. But my team should be able to potentially clutch up here if they work together. Kill the Fosh 183 and we got this. Hesham, you got this fam. Nice. My Leo should hopefully be able to take care of the K91 there. Very good. The K91 got a little over aggressive. He probably shouldn't have yellowed there even if he was to pick up a two shot kill because if he had helped our team clear the 183, they would have had more spawn control. That's not the case, but we shall see. Thanks for all the great guidance. Marcus, thank you very, very much. Thanks for all your <laughs> great guidance. Yeah, do Chad. Thank you so much for the donation, Marcus. Really do appreciate it. <laughs> Watch rank 50. He must be very proficient in the tank. Who's rank 50? Oh, the 57. <laughs> Ranks don't mean anything. I saw rank 50. Oh, nice one. Type 71 going down there. 57's yellowing into Narnia. We do have the game in the bag. Let's go. You know what? I kept the Yag at bay for a while. Kind of got game done by him. This is why I should have just sat at entrance of town. I actually would have had a much better game than dealing with the Jaeger root there. I first got screwed by the fact that I honestly almost want to switch back to Calibrated. Because running rammer means 340 heat is not really reliable in pinning E100s and Yaks frontally, but I really don't want that worse DPM. I believe their Yo might be at A or AFK. I don't know. We'll have to wait for this man to die, but we'll jump into another game soon. Play the Leo one once, maybe at the end of the stream. Can anyone help all three type shots you? <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's really like a 57 stated. <laughs> Let me say, new sounds are bad. I mean, I don't mind the new sounds. I don't think they're too bad. Some of them are bad. Oh my gosh. Of course, the yo went AFK after capping A. <laughs> Bro, what's with all my allies farming the AFKs? At this point, I should just stick, stick heavy side because it seems like half their heavies are going AFK now. All right, what camera sensitivity do you recommend? Depends on what device you're running. I have 300... <laughs> 300 sensitivity. Yeah, imagine. 110% iPad Pro. So... It kind of depends. If you have a bigger screen, higher sensitivity is usually needed. If you're on like a phone or something, then you won't need as much sensitivity, obviously. All right, boys, get that HE. Let's finish them off. I don't want to get the streamers, uh, the viewers unhappy. There we go. Very good, very good. Hopefully, it's only just a moment now. <laughs> they should be able to kill them off. I think Kali is worth because 330 is, is right. Yeah, 330 it just doesn't seem to be enough. So I'm, I might switch. I might switch back to Calibrated. I only sw swapped to uh, Rammer like, right before this stream. I usually run Calibrated in the water, but like I said, after losing a second on that, gaining a second on the reload, yikers, we did not have a very good game. Because it would have been a lot easier for me to take care of that Yag if I could have just super structured sniped him with heat. But because he was like slightly angling, I was unable to do that. And therefore, I had to pull forward a little bit farther to hit shots on him. Obviously, I could have played it more patient, but... At the same time, I knew we were losing the town, so I wanted to try and kill that Yag as quickly as possible, which ended up biting me in the back anyways, because, well, yeah, I took too many shots for that Yag. So let's jump into another game. We're here in Mines, probably not the most ideal map for the 100, but my turret armor is better than it was before. The enemy team have a Super Conqueror, a Concept 1B, E100, very good haul down tanks, a few good TDs. Hobri is particularly scary with that premium AP, of course, but what I'm gonna do to start this game off with, I'm too slow to take the hill or try and get early shots on the hill, I prefer try going over towards the encounter cap side, just initially. We'll see if we can get an early shot on someone who's not paying attention. Here's the enemy's E100. Let's see if we can aim a heat shell into the front of his turret here. The gun trolls me, although that might have been because the 57 was kind of uh, bumping into me there. Unfortunately, we do mess that shell up. E100 seems to be stuck in the open for the time being. He is currently tracked. Now, I believe... Oh, Mr. 121. Oh, Mr. Concept's over here. Let's put a quick shot to the Concept. We're going to angle up our turret just a little bit and pull back. Me the 57 should be good here. My team are actually just bombing hill control. So it seems like the enemy team threw by placing all of their tanks right on in to the encounter cap. I've always said this, guys. Don't commit your whole team to encounter cap. It's a really bad idea. So we're just going to sit here and farm out Concept 1B 
bouncing a shell there off of my turret armor. And we will have to watch this left-hand corner because I won't be able to spot them until they're at that building unless our 57 does oblige and does that for me. It looks like this Concept 1B is pulling back into Narnia a little bit. Here's the whole reach. Put a heat shell into him real quick. And oh my gosh, that shot goes very low. Even 360 heat there was not enough to go through that whole reach lower plate. So we're going to sit back for a moment here. 57 does oblige and takes the shot for me. What a cheat. What a champ. And we do have Mr. Conqueror here. He's going to pull back just in time. Hope he's still reloading for a little bit. Let's put another shell towards him. That one does go in. Thankfully, we've done 1,800 damage. One to one dying. Concept's not going to survive for very long. So really, all of the farm this game is going to be on the Super Conqueror and E100 for me. And maybe this Hori. I don't know if I want to pull out and take a shot from him. But considering my team is just absolutely slaughtering the hill, this might be worth it for me. So let's see if we can bait a shell out of Mr. Hori. I know he's still in these bushes somewhere. Hori shoots. We do manage to bait him, but unfortunately, he just manages to pull back into cover here. Looks like our 57 is going to be a champ to take one for the team, so it's aim for the C100 side. 660 damage dealt. Let's pull away from the Hori right into this building to give me better farm on the E100 and Super Conqueror here in a moment's time. We're going to pull up to this building. That way, the... Um that way, the 1A3 doesn't get any bright ideas and starts nuking me. But you know what? Damage is calling my name. And so, let's let's see if we can put... Okay, at least an AP shell into this dude. Angle up our haul a little bit. That's 3k damage dealt. And this game's pretty much over. Conqueror's about to go down. 1A3 and Hori are both just chilling over here. Not really sure where their 4 tier 2 is. Dude must be sitting in Narnia at this point. But hopefully, we can at least max roll Mr. Hori here. So, Hori has just fired his gun. Let's aim in for that lower plate. 605 damage dealt. That puts me at 3700 damage for this game. So, not too bad. 1A3 and 422 are kind of just in Narnia. So let's just YOLO if we want to get damage on maybe the 1A3 here. Come on, Mr. 1A3. Give me that damage. Give me that damage. I know you're there. I know he's there. Should we take the blind shot? Do we take the blind shot? Let's just go for it. Who knows? Maybe I'll go in. Okay. So unfortunately, luck was not on my side. The 1A3 is still safe. 422, though, does have a lot of hit points. Maybe we can get a shell into him. If I was faster yellowing him, I might have been in a better position here. I don't believe the 1A3 has fired yet either. So let's just full send it for the 4202 before it's game over. All right. So not a bad game. Enemy team was a bit um, not very wise in their decision-making process here. I think that dude's going to go down really fast. So let's just get ready to deal with the 4202 here. Very nice. 1A3 is down. 422 is just kind of chilling in the mid here. I don't know which way is the best route to approach him, so we're just going to go from down low. Hopefully, we can catch a shell into him. Now, put me at 4k damage for this game, and I'll be pretty happy. So, let's just keep putting forward. No, he does start running away the moment I start approaching. How unlucky. Five tank. Favorite tank. Hey, Higan, thanks for the donation. Yeah, I can see why people love the 100. It is a 10 out of 10 sniper. Can't we all agree? 4202 gets absolutely hammered there. Watch this aim a shell into one. Oh, yes. Snapshot goes in. And that should be game over for 4202, who's going to die in his crossing very shortly. So not a bad game. Enemy team, probably not the best. Their heavy tanks made the big old mistake of, hey, guys, let's just all commit to encounter cap and leave Hilfer in the open and while well, they die. So never do that if you, if you can help it. I know I went towards encounter cap, but one thing that I've always recommended is it's okay to go there initially. Don't push past encounter cap. And, like, don't try committing too much into the town right off the bat because you might need to rotate back quickly to help your team on hill, which is what I usually do. But in that case, the enemy team lost hill so quickly, there was nothing else for me to do but just sit there and farm. So not a bad game. My favorite tank and favorite map. <laughs> you know, mines can be pretty decent in heavy tanks or medium tanks that are very fast or have very good turret armor. Uh, it's not so great for tanks maybe like your 405s, your... Eh, Leopard one's actually pretty okay on mines because you can just corner, you can just like outpoke people with your insane accuracy. So all that good stuff. Actually, I didn't buy the one until just before the 9.1 to see what the difference would be. Definitely like post 9.1 better, even with less DPM and dispersion. There you go. So it seems like the majority of people do prefer this newer version of the 100. I am definitely a bit on the fence about it. I do believe that the turret armor is better when angled for sure but as you saw against the other owners i'm facing if you just run calibrated on any heavy tank with big alpha penetration guns you will probably still be able to go straight through the turret armor anyways it, it, it's really for me the most noticeable buff is <laughs> this may sound a little insane is the traverse feed it's it's really quite good compared to before that traverse buff is nice i think that's the thing i like most about the 100 now at least out of the changes Wargaming gave it, is that increased traverse speed. It, it does traverse very, very fast compared to before. And while the turret armor is a nice bonus, I, I've never been one to rely too heavily on the 100's turret armor. It's there to be used. You angle it and stuff like that. 
But I've always been of the opinion that you should just accept that. Most players running high heat pen guns are going to go through anyway, so just try and out-trade them when possible. Anyways, looks like my whole team's going town here, and um, I don't really go factory too often. Okay, that's an enemy E100. This enemy E100 might be giving me a side shot here in just a moment's time. That is a building. I See, I am so good at this game. I, I couldn't shoot through the wall. Okay, let's pull through before we get nuked by their whole team. We do take 500 alpha. I believe that's from the... Uh, one of their he one of their tank destroyers hit me there. I don't usually play factory, so I was a bit, uh, a bit lost there. Let's just drive around this corner here. We're gonna pull out for a moment. We should be able to start spotting these dudes up fairly soon. I think what I'm gonna do, because I know they'll probably have TDs up here, is try not to overcommit. Let's put a quick shell into the 5A. Oh my goodness, what a snapshot. Ricocheting the 5A there. Very cool indeed. Now, they have a lot of tank destroyers. We'll want to watch out for them. But if we use these rail cars and everything properly... Now, the 5A has really bad pen. I'm not super concerned about him penning me as long as I'm inked up properly to him. There's a T-124. Let's HE into him. Oh, yes! 892 high explosive damage dealt. 5A bouncing off of me once more. This E4 having a very, very bad day here. Losing all of his hit points in a few seconds. We just might be able to pick up a kill on him. Assuming my allies don't do it before me. It looks like he is just going to escape. So, Grills around this corner. He is covered by an E100, something we should be aware of, but, um, you know, if we angle this out properly, we should be fine. Now, I can't really see his tank here. I'm just trying to see if I can spot that grill up. All right, enemy E100 is starting to poke. This grill's pulling forward here. We managed to bait the shell into my tracks here. Let's just pull back ever so slightly. This 268 is starting to look my way. We're just going to keep angling up to this corner here. There we go. 268 has just fired. I didn't expect that grill to pull forward, so I, I messed up my opportunity to nuke him. Enemy's grill's getting quite aggro indeed. 790 high explosive into him. He goes down. That just leaves Mr. 268 here, Mr. E100. E100 gets fluffs his shot. 268, obviously, heat from tank destroyers is going to pen you. Yeah, that's something you should just expect. Alrighty. So enemy E100 is a bit distracted for the time being. Let's put an AP shell to his side. Very cool. We're going to pull all the way up to this ridge here and stay safe from the 268. And we have farmed a pretty decent amount of damage so far. 268 can't quite shoot me yet. E100 is just getting wrecked. Oh my goodness. Goodbye, E100. Looks like he got TVP'd on. So that's never a very fun experience if you're an E100. Let's just load up a heat shell, pick up a quick kill on him. Very cool. And I'm just going to YOLO the 268 for last minute damage farm, hopefully before it's too late. Because that TVP could really mess up that 268's Day. All right, 268 is getting ready to shoot at me. He does put a shell into me here. I think the TVP is going to beat me to the punch here and, well, just yeet all of my damage farm away from him. I do have a max roll here, though, so maybe if I get a nice 800 max roll, we're chilling. Let's put an eight, AP shell to him. Not quite 800, but maybe if we ram him. Oh, yes, not quite. Not a bad game. Gigan, thank you for the donation once more. <laughs> Taxi, what's with the question marks? <laughs> hi, Fantas. Hi, Fantas. I started playing in the NA region as well. Ah, good luck with the NA teams, good sir. All right. Not bad. 3,990 damage dealt. Gun did its job. We actually hit some insane snapshots. That, that 5A got very, very unlucky. And same with that uh, E4. My RNG was true. <laughs> Ted is drip. <laughs> I hate mines. <laughs> Ted is drip. Ah, yes. Got the open top hat in. Sup, my dude. Deposit for dry cat food or paid actors. Russian disaster. Sup, my dude. <laughs> Thank you so for much for the donation. For really, really do appreciate it. That is going to be half a week's of gas money for next week once I start commuting to school again. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All the work that went into building those tanks and they're destroyed in seconds. It feels bad, man. I got to go. Good night, everyone. And man, thanks for driving by. You have yourself a great night. You'll need luck with any teams, I imagine. Okay. All right. So, here we are back on Yukon. E100, so far, performing pretty chad. We have seven games. We have won all seven games. Mind you, my team carried me twice with the AFKs on the enemy team. I guess paid accurate deposit is being used quite well there. We have 4K average so far. So, not too shabby. Honestly, not too bad. Considering I'm not really an E100 main myself, I'm pretty happy with this. So, here's what we're going to do. Enemy team have double E100s. They have double M6EOs. They have an E4, a Fosh, and a Grill very heavy lineup except for the grill they are pretty much all heavy tanks and whatnot i don't know if i really want to commit to encounter cap here because as you can see my heavies are kind of more headed towards a let's see if anyone pulls around this corner for starters so far no one is spotted my team does have a lot of tanks headed towards a 
So I guess I'll pull on up towards encounter cap. And they did have a TD spotted on that side over there. Interestingly enough, it appears the enemy team is not being aggressive through the mid. Now, I'm sure they have a lot of tanks just chilling in their spawn. Maybe some E100s demonstrating the Chad spawn sniping strategy, but uh, we shall see. And there we go. So we do find a Fosh demonstrating the spawn sniping strategy. I'm going to act like I'm backing up in case they have someone else in spawn that's waiting to shoot at me. Let's see what Mr. Fosh does here. Mr. Fosh will have to run away. He doesn't have a ton of options just yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. There's a tank pulling on in behind me. It is an M6. Yo, what's, what's Angler Hall? Real quickly back here. Hopefully my turret doesn't get panned. Very nice. We managed to avoid taking a nuke from this dude here. So we know there's a Yo around the corner. We know there's a Fosh around this corner here. I suppose we got to kill the Fosh before it's too late. So let's get away from this Yo. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys. Are you going to do anything about this, about this dude or are you all just going to chill here? All right, Mr. Fosh is pulling around the corner. One heat shell into him should be good. We do manage to angle up and ricochet that shell there. The Yo suicided to put one more shell into me. I don't know what that dude was thinking with my whole team around the corner, but he does go down. This I-7 is just going to try pushing me out. Mr. Um, I-7, you can totally just drive around the corner here. Let's just angle back up to the E100 here. Put a quick shell into him. Angle or haul in. We do manage to avoid taking a shot there. I'm going to let this I-7 be the meat shield because he's so eager to... Um, pull forward anyways we're just gonna keep using these logs as some cover here from the enemy's e100 act like i'm angling up here and let's pull back quick snapshot angle the turret so even yeah he manages to put heat shell through me very easily there but he is now a one shot so we don't have to worry too much about him hopefully the e4 can do something about mr e100 because i don't want to be stuck here for super long if i can help it we're going to continue angling up our turret here just a little bit e100's a bit distracted oh that shot unfortunately does not go in Oh no, E4, what you doing? It looks like my whole team's just full sending it for the Fosh. I'm gonna get ready to turn back towards this Yo. The Fosh should hopefully go down very, very shortly. This Yo is kind of in the open, and oh man, an HE show would be very lovely on him indeed. But it looks like he's making a break for it. Looks like my man knows that I am pulling back up behind him. And this game looks like it's pretty much over already for the enemy team. They don't have much left here. So I guess a very fast game. Not a whole lot for me to do, because they had quite a few tanks that just kind of died, especially that Yo throwing his tank away for free, essentially, was not a very bright idea, because, yeah, his team lost really the only tank holding mid, and the girl's going to get nuked in just a moment. So, not a good farm game, but at least we get the dub. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll hit one more shell to this man's. So there we go. And there you have it. All right, not too bad. Bobby is grinding HRF stats. Easy. <laughs> I saw his Royal Bobby last night, LOL. Oh, imagine. Only 2K dealt, 1,200 blocked. I mean, it could have been a lot, lot worse. Good job to our Yo's and E50M. Our team on the flank did an excellent job. His IS-7 was a bit was a bit passive. I mean, he could have helped me a little more aggressively there, but at least we did get ourselves the dub. If he kills you, you kill him back. That's sh that, that'll show him. <laughs> Wait, what? What well, Chris Robinson? I'm a little confused. <laughs> well, who are you referring to? Me? Bobby is playing. Go figure. All right, seven games, 100% winner. Eight games. Let's see how long we can keep the win streak going up, guys. Okay, I just jinxed myself. Darn it! I totally just jinxed myself. Anyways, we're gonna go heavy side. Enemy team have an E100. They have a a mill tiger. A, a tiger too. Goodness. What? We have a T-54 E2? Oh my goodness. Tier 8. What is this? 2016 matchmaking? I am not used to this, that's for sure. Okay. So we're big brains. We're going to blind fire someone right off the bat. That shot went all the way to the moon. Like, straight up went to the moon. I I'm sure it just went into the Earth's atmosphere, orbited all the way around Earth, and just slam dunked into the moon. Like, that shot went so high. Okay, we are not yet spotted. Let's angle up a little bit here. Very cool indeed. Mr. IS-8 looks like he's about to be gamed on here. Let's put a quick shell into IS-8. Oh, gamed on. The 113 GFT is up here, which is why I'm happy I'm running calibrated. Because that tank actually has a ton of armor if you're not looking at its lower plate. All right, so 113 GFT here. Getting a little bit aggro. He does manage to hit a shell off. Looks like the Samil is chilling here as well. The enemy, enemy M60 is here. Unfortunately, that shell goes to Narnia. And he's not the only one that's here. The entirety of the enemy team is actually here. Something I will have to very much be aware of. Because we're going to be holding off into a massive crossfire soon. I don't really have the ability to back up just, just yet. Looks like the M60 is a wee bit distracted for the time being. So, this might be a good opportunity to act like I'm going to pressure this Emil here. He wondered, is lost in the sauce for now. This Emil is rotating back for me. Let's put a quick shell to the Emil. Let's pull back. The M60 is just kind of full sending it. I, I wasn't really expecting him to full send it, but there you have it. We're going to have to put another shell to this dude. And, well, my allies are, like, nowhere to be found. Very cool. We do manage to at least bait that shell off. RE75 isn't doing a whole lot to help me here. And so, I think at this time... 
The best option for me is just to start backing out of this corner. We're gonna angle up to the M60 a little bit. Unfortunately, he does track me. Hopefully the enemy evil hunter doesn't do anything about that. We're gonna have to angle up to this, this WZ here. And of course he does pen that heat shell. So we are now on 700 hit points. The C100 is distracted for the time being. So not too much for me to worry about. Looks like the WZ is backing up ever so slightly here. M60 being kind of aggressive. Let's pick up a quick kill shot onto him and pull back. Very nice indeed. Let's just stay put for the time being. Looks like the WZ is kind of starting to full send it on me here. So I'm going to see if I can at least angle up to our man just a little bit here. Let's try and bait that track, bait that track. Let's put a quick shot onto his lower plate here. Let's see if the E75 is willing to assist me on this man. So I won't be able to pull back too far here. Come on, E75. I believe in you, E75. My engine is down for the time being. E75 looks like he's given up on trying to assist me here. And so this is probably going to be my game. Let's put a quick shell into this dude. But oh, yes, we high roll him for the kill there. I guess we did an okay job holding. We did farm 4k damage and we were able to stay alive just long enough. Thanks to our 2750 hit points there to um, pick up a nice kill shot on that dude. 4k damage dealt. Not a bad game. Could have played it better. Probably could have played it better. I did bleed a lot of HP there, especially once I started taking shots on the mill and M60. To be fair, I didn't think the M60 was going to YOLO up all the way through the middle of the map. That kind of caught me off guard. I thought he was going to keep sitting behind the mill, so I'm like, okay, if I get, I'll take like one shot from the mill, maybe a shot from the M60, I'll be able to back up. But since he was on my left, he kind of tracked me. Had to waste a repair kit. Lost too many hit points for that. But in the end, we still won, so I'm happy with that. Hey man, how could you be camping 100 in? <laughs> how could you camp 100 in these, <laughs> in this thing these days? Ah, uh, what do you mean? I'm not camping, but maybe I should. This is a great idea. Oh god, it's kind of so bad in the game. Ah, uh, lots of seven hours. It's the second best TD in Tier X. My man knows what he's talking about. Listen to him. <laughs> I didn't even get to shoot the tiger too. Bless him. Okay. Enemy team, Type 71, Projeto. It is encounter game. I'm going to go town. Honestly, the reason I'm going town is because I am way too lazy to go dudes. Just because it's slow. So, we're going town. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. We will find out in due time. But our Leopard 1 is at least aggressively spotting. Let's see what the enemy team is doing first before we call it good or bad. Love channel, E100 broken. Love Thank channel, you, Keegan. Really appreciate it. Let me know if I'm mispronouncing your name. If it's not Keegan, uh, then I am sorry. All right, let's put a quick shot to the IS-8. Huh? I don't know where that shot went, but it definitely went somewhere to Narnia. Okay, so unfortunately, we missed our opportunity to shoot this man. So, oh my goodness, so there's a Conway here. Okay, there's quite a few tanks back here. 4005 on the enemy team. What's pre-aimed HE? Ooh, 760. Nice little pre-aim there. 420 alpha damage blocked, which was, I believe, from the... Not from the IS-8. It was the IS-4 that was shooting at me. Interesting. All right, cool. So the enemy team is just blitzing through that side of the map. That means we got to push this dude here. This Type 71 seems to be pretty isolated. He could have the support of a single tank destroyer. Probably the Gorilla 15, if, if anything, is there to support him. But otherwise, this dude's pretty much alone. And that means we have to kill him. Luckily, I do have 367 heat pen or something like that. So even if this dude does look at me, I'm not too concerned about him. Because big, bad, chatty 100 with its insane heat pen is just going to bomb him. So, 530 damage dealt into him. He can no longer push in on me because the Super Conqueror and Badger are pulling on in. And this dude's going to be, you know, he's going to be very, very much dead soon in just a moment. So, let's just get ready to put at least one more shell into our mans before it's too late. Let's put a shell into him. 550 damage dealt. The Badger and Super Conqueror should have their mans here. He's trying to shoot at me for some reason. So, let's angle up our turret. There we go. And I'm going to turn my attention back because my team is... Is actually kind of getting wrecked on the flank here not really all that surprising i'm gonna try and not stay in the open for too long because that's just asking to get cross right out from the dunes i'm gonna see what we can do to help back into our spawn so well that's interesting okay maybe i shouldn't overcommit here because they're gonna push in towards us correct now we have a badger and super conqueror going left side of encounter cap i can chill here for now I would like to go deeper into our spawn, but I'm a bit concerned about the crossfires over there. You know, when, it, when in doubt, it's a little bit safer just to let the enemy team push into you than to try pressuring into them. The IS-4 has not spotted me yet. There's a chance that Progetto will pull in on our right sometime soon. Here's Mr. Progetto. Snapshot. Oh, what a shell. 800 max roll into the Progetto there. Managing to hit a juicy 
snapshot onto him. And there we go. He gets taken down. There's the enemy's Conway. Dude's just big chilling in the middle of nowhere. And it looks like the IS-4 is getting a wee bit more aggressive as well. Let's get ready to do something about Mr. IS-4. He's giving me a nice lower plate shot. Boom! 660. That puts me at 3.3k damage so far. I'm a bit concerned about the 4005. Obviously, he's not there. Or see what it started shooting at me. So let's just keep holding this corner here. I'm a bit antsy of pushing forward in case the 405 is around that corner. So for now, just take it a little bit easy and wait to see what happens. Now maybe this ice will give me another shell here. Let's just pop an HE into him. 278. Very nice. That puts me at 3.6k damage or so. So we're doing okay in the farm department. And it looks like my other allies might be a little preoccupied. Loving the streams also. Where is the Bobby? <laughs> HRF, loving the streams. Where's the Bobby? Thank you so much. We do appreciate the... Uh, the donation and the guitarist and uh, Bobby I believe is under the bed. She's not too far away All right, mr. Conway's in the open here and I as for put a shell into him I do take two shots from the 4005 there. So the 4005 is with the grill That's precisely what I was worried about But I kind of thought those dudes would be getting farmed out if the 4005 was still there turns out That's not the case. He's just kind of sitting there preeming my corner. It looks like the IS-4 is going to get distracted now. So here's a good opportunity to pull forward into Mr. IS-4. Put a quick 600 damage shell into him. I'm going to angle my hull back up towards wherever that grill 405 are. Just to, st just to keep things nice and secure here. Mr. IS-4 is getting bopped for quite a few hit points now. And I think it's as good as game over at this point. So, yep, GG. IS-4 is about to go down. There is Mr. 405. Let's pull forward. We might be able to hit a snapshot into the 405. Quick little kill shot into him. Very good stuff. And now we can pull on in towards the grill at 15. So that puts me at 4,800 damage this game not a shabby battle at all the, the grill is probably going to get wrecked before i can do anything about him he is rotating while spotted after all and uh yeah not a bad battle not a bad battle at all all right all right, all right. we hit those almost just a little too high no i should have saved my shot it's okay it's always you, you, you miss every shot you don't take right <laughs> no i should have saved it now no, 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 Mr. Grill, what you doing? What you doing? All right, all right, we hit those. We don't hit those. Sad. I guess you can only say that so many times in one game, but we still got close to 5k damage. I will happily take that. Oh my gosh, is the badger getting big brained on by the grill? Yo. Bobby, where are you? I mean, Bobby, where are you? I believe she's under the bed. I'll try and get her to pop out sometime. She usually shows up at some time during the stream. All right, 4.8. Not bad. I'll take it. Happily. That puts me at back at 3,900 average for today's session. First 10 games, one. You wanted so chat, isn't it? So, yeah. Is it better or worse? I need to answer my own question. I have not answered it yet. Um, Overall, I think it's better. Definitely, I prefer the old gun. DPM and accuracy was a lot nicer on it, but... I think that traverse speed is what I like most. Being able to traverse your haul around so fast really allows you to bait those tracks a lot more than you used to and kind of troll shots and just rotate around faster too. Uh, the turret armor is a nice change, but like I said, tanks that were gonna pen your turret, regardless, will still be able to pen your turret. You know, any really big heat pen guns out there, such as E100s. Uh, what it's good against is lower heat pen shells though, like 320, 320-ish millimeters will struggle a lot more. So it's nice. I think it's pretty good so far. Bobby is driving half tank. <laughs> Maybe. Y'all y'all fulfill my dream. What's your dream? Nah, maybe I shouldn't ask. <laughs> Fatness, uh, I don't know what you're trying to say, but thank you. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I don't usually go into town on this map, but let's, it's E100. We're Chad, we can do this. Quick sip of tea. Now, the enemy team only have an E6, a Type 71, and a Type 68. In theory, I can cross to the park just fine. Now, the question is, what type of support do I have? I have a Yo and a 60 TP. Cool beans. I'm going to try crossing. I don't usually cross. I hate this because you usually lose like 1,000 HP doing this. But, full send. Full YOLO send. We're doing it. The enemy team do seem to be split. The M60 is kind of in Narnia right now. So, whoever's on C, I hope you're ready. To meet my little friend, Mr. E100. AP shell into the Type 71's lower plate. 636 damage dealt. Man, is just big chill in here. And it appears he just wants to sit here in the open and try and shoot at me. Now, luckily, he shouldn't have the easier shots on my lower plate. So, he did manage to bait another shell out of the Type 71. And hello, good sir. All right, 370 heat says, I'll pen you regardless. Another shell into the Type 71. I do admit, man, having calibrated is so nice for dealing with Type 71's, if nothing else. Like, it doesn't matter if he's angling. That 370 heat is going through, like, most of the time, as this Type 71 has found out 
to his unfortunate soon to be demise. So let's get ready to start pressuring Mr. Type 71. See if we can bait him to shoot my side here just a little bit. Let's try and bait that side. Bait it out a little bit. You know, it's wasting a little bit of time. I'll just pull on out here. There we go. He does put a shell to me. AP through the front. Nice. Even AP can pen the front of his tank here. He's going to ram me, so I'm just going to pull on in and go up a little bit. Very nice indeed. There's no need to cap because there's a two cap. You know, both of our teams have a cap each. Um, WZ120, just let the homie through here. Just no need to side scrape it out. You're wasting our time when we're about to Blitzkrieg this man. All right. So we're full setting into this Type 68. Now, we might have a 1A3 covering him. Let's angle up our hull a little bit. I expect to take the shot, which is fine, but we do manage to put a shell into him, which is a good trade. 1A3 about to bop this dude for days. He does get bopped for days. He is definitely not feeling so good and that does leave a wild leopard one around this corner hopefully the yo can pick up a kill here on this man's 183 is fired i'm gonna prioritize the 183 is a more dangerous target let's put a quick shell into him oh yes and a fire 700 800 damage dealt there to him he's about to go down very very fast here and so now my damage farming instincts half activated we are full sending for the leopard one who is just big chilling around this corner here all right Monsieur Leopard 1. Okay, you know, you know what? This is probably a bad idea to full send it here because they, their whole team's around the corner. Okay, let's get ready to start pulling back a little bit. Our 183 is definitely going to get yolo next, and I want to be there to provide support when that does happen. So the M60 is full sending it through here. Here's the wild standard B. M60, give me a rear shot on his turret. Only 409 damage dealt. Oh my goodness. So my allies have not killed the Type 68 yet. Well, that was a mistake by me. I totally thought my team would have had the Type 68 by now. So now I got to pull in around this corner as quickly as possible here. Very nice indeed. Managing to avoid a shell from the Leopard 1. Let's put a quick shell into this man's here. 660 damage dealt. Trying to angle up as much as I can here. But my allies really aren't doing so well in terms of in terms of support and stuff. We managed to bait one shell. Oh no, the Leopard makes me a one shot here. We got to keep angling up. Oh, my teammates, what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? All right, M16 not quite getting the bait there. There's this dude. Just put a quick 800 max roll to him. It's two on five here. Managed to bounce another shell from Mr. Leopard here. We're going to angle up a little bit to the type, but he's probably going to pen my drive wheel. Okay, we do manage to ricochet that shot. Reverse angle. Okay. Um, so mistakes were made. I did do 5k damage. RIP to the 100% win rate here. Not really sure what my allies did. Not killing the type was... I mean, I totally thought the Yo and the 60TP that were both loaded would have picked up a kill, considering they're both more mobile than me. I wasn't about to chase him around the corner. In retrospect, we could have maybe won if I just chased that dude down myself and gotten out of that main engagement. The, the issue was, though, I mean, yeah, our team I5 did zero, our Leopard did one shot, and the 60TP and Yo didn't really do all that good as well. So, sad. Ripped the 100% win rate. We did do 5k damage, so I still think I did, for the most part, my part. But uh, I don't think the damage our intuition cost me the win. I think it cost me an extra few shots of damage. Like, here's the thing. Even if I did kill that Type 68, I still would have had a Standard B and an M60 yoloing me to deal with. And my teammates were dying in town regardless to the enemy's Leopard 1 and uh, T95 E6. So in the end, I don't think I could have really won that game. Uh, but I could have at least had like 6.5k farm. That's the, that's the main difference. Dude, I killed you. Oh my gosh, brother. No no spamming all caps in chat. That's a quick way to get muted. <laughs> good for good good for, good for you. But um <laughs> Okay, HRF now camp camp one game for the giggles. Maybe. Maybe I'll have to. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> I mean I was dead regardless to one of you guys. I was getting shot by four tanks, so <laughs> it's not like it was a one versus one or anything. All right. Need a trophy. RNG says no to your 100% win rate. It wasn't really RNG. It was just kind of my team kind of fell apart very quickly there. And I wasn't in the best position to really clutch up, sadly. All right. Let's jump into another game. We are back at 4K average, though. So that's a plus. Even though we did sacrifice a little bit of win rate for it, I will take it. His Royal Derpness? <laughs> Gigan, thanks for the donation. All right, let's spot the crossing. Canal, it is my favorite map in the game. The most versatile map that every tank class can work on. We're going to start this game off by spotting the crossing here. And see if we can find any of the enemy tanks pushing in. We have a M60 and an E3 going to cover the flank against the T100. Enemy team have a lot of heavies and some tank destroyers. Now, this Amex should start spotting them up pretty quickly here. 
Interesting. So here's the super bomb career. Let's aim a shell to his side. 620 damage dealt into him. Let's get a nice little ricochet from the motion. And let's try and angle up to the super conqueror. Not quite. I'm trying to just inch in towards this wall. And hopefully by the time we're reloaded, we'll be able to put another shell into Mr. Super Bonker here. Boom. 669. Super Bonker is just having a really, really bad day. He took forever crossing, got spotted. He's going to go down very fast here. Looks like the T95, E6, T100 are both over there. We have an E3. That E3 is not going to survive super long camping like that. That's for sure. Ice 4 is about to cross in the open, I believe. So I'm trying to spot that up. Sadly, we were unable to spot him. I'm going to pull back in case they have a 183 there. And oh, the Ice 4 is actually faster than me there. That's why I wasn't able to spot him up. Interesting. Okay. Our AMX is about to get gamed on. That's for sure. But the enemy team are also about to lose the decap engagement. So, oh, that's a 183. Okay, 183 is spotted. He's probably going to try rotating out. Let's try and derp him. 490 damage dealt. Very cool indeed. He gets full health. Oh, my goodness. And now I can just push right on in behind the Moishin and IS-4 here. I think this was a fine plan by me by not overcommitting just yet. And just waiting for the enemy team to kind of overextend a little bit here. As you can see, that's exactly what they're doing. One quick shot to the side of the IS-4. We can pull back behind to cover here. IS-4 is getting gamed on. So this is going to be a game where I chase for damage. That E6 ain't going to survive for super long. And the Moishin is probably going to feed me some damage here, which is cool. Uh, let's get ready to angle up towards him just a little bit here. There you go. We're getting some nice lower plate shots here. Let's put a quick shell into him. 618 damage dealt. We're angling up a little bit here. Hopefully my allies will support me in just a second. We managed to bait some shots into our tracks. And it looks like the Waffle should have the eyes for in just a moment. And I should be able to pick up a kill shot on this Moishin in just a moment myself. Cool. All right. So all that's left is the Waffenträger. That puts me at 3,300 damage dealt. Their team got evaporated. So I don't think we're going to get much fun. The M60 is probably going to find the Waffle out before I can even get shells on him. Because the Waffle didn't shoot me in crossing. We know he's not on the main hill. But, oh my goodness. Aim, 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 aim. Oh, well, that's the 4200 damage dealt. Nice little HE into uh, Lucas over here in the Waffenträger. Get him gamed on. Not a shabby game. Not a bad game. HF is like John Wick a bit. <laughs> Definitely not. Big, be the big brain. Camp E100. But I don't know. Do I want to ruin my 92% in 4K average? You know, once we ruin it later on in the stream Russian disaster, I will do it for a game. Just to entertain y'all. <laughs> All right. Well, these are some juicy U100 stats, I will admit. Very strong barn. <laughs> Imagine. This has helped me a lot going from the small turret of the E75 to the barn of a U100 of the turret. Yes. One thing that you're going to notice, generally speaking, about E100 gameplay, and one thing you'll see me do quite often, is prioritizing cover. It's something that I don't see a lot of U100 players do. R really... It's good that you have armor, and no matter how good you are at angling, your E100's not going to be invincible. And so what you always want to make sure is you have that default cover you can drop right on behind to just get away from enemy tanks that could be trying to shoot you. And that way, you don't have to worry about angling when you're sitting behind hard cover, right? And so if more E100 players did that, they would have a lot less issues to deal with. Oh, wow. Nice shot by the 260 there. I kind of thought I would spot him up a little bit sooner. Here is the enemy's 57 Heavy. Let's believe in the gun. Let's not believe in the gun. So, unfortunately, unable to get a shell into him. We did take a shell through the front of the upper plate there. It wasn't a heat shell, so it wasn't all that much damage. Enemy Type 71 seems to be going full gamer mode over onto our Type 71 over here. So, I might, I just might try and pull up and assist our, our dude over here. Enemy 260 being quite aggro. He cannot pen me, probably. I, most 260 players run rammer because that tank has no heat pen. And it looks like my team is, is bombing C cap. So I might get a little bit more aggressive here. Let's angle up just a little bit. 260 is starting to pull back, but it might be a little bit too late. Let's aim for that weak spot. And oh my goodness, that's that accuracy for sure. It took forever for that shell to aim in. And even with like an 80% chance of that shot pending, it went to that one small position it couldn't. So unfortunately, we missed the opportunity to get damage a second time. Realistically, I should have had about 1,200 damage, well, by now, but, oh well, 600 is not the end of the world. So we're going to stay safe from this Gorilla 15. I don't think he's going to hit me just yet. It looks like Mr. 57 is kind of lost, so let's wait for an opportunity to start shooting at him. He's about to pull beyond cover. Quick shell to the 57 here. There we go. 600 damage down to him. Very nice. We're going to keep staying angled up to him. There we go. He goes down. I think this game's going to be a win. My enemy team are all stuck in their own spawn. I wasn't able to farm off of this push very much, sadly, but it's not the end of the world. Here's the enemy's M6 Yo. He's going to try shooting at me. He does bounce an AP shell, so at least he's shooting AP and not heat. And it looks like the enemy's grill is pulling forward a little bit here. AG shell. 449? 449? Okay. 
He wasn't running a spall liner. Could someone explain to me? Oh my gosh, that 260. It, he, he is out for me. He is out for me. Oh, and the enemy team have a Sheridan too over here. Let's see if the Sheridan gets gonna shot in just a moment. Can't quite shoot him just yet. Apparently this 260 is just allowed to sit here for free. Okay, I'm actually in a bit of a crossfire here. Enemy 260 might be a little bit over aggressive here. Let's try and keep angling up towards them. All right, act like we're distracted here. You know, my allies are actually losing the flank. This is not so good for me and my team. So I gotta get ready to start dealing with things like this. Yo here, lower plate, 500 damage into him. Let's watch our rear from the Sheridan. Sheridan is definitely gonna try and put a shell into me. So we're gonna reverse angle up to him a little bit here. Sadly, we do end up taking a shot from this man's here. Grill does go down. The Sheridan is now kind of stuck in the open for a little bit longer. If he does try and pull in to shoot at me, we can maybe HEM for a kill shot here. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see if this dude. See if this dude gets baited into trying to shoot at me here. Most All right. annoying. HE. Oh, nice. Right. We got an HE shell. Okay, so we. Uh, my team actually gonna throw. Okay, I totally thought my team had the heavy tank engagement, but they. They got wrecked over there, and I didn't realize all of those dudes on the flank, the V40 50M, lost to the Sheridan 140 without even killing a single one of them. So, good game to the enemy team. Sadly, another loss. I, I, I got a little bit out of position there in the mid, but I totally expected my team to do way better than that. Turns out they were, uh... Oh man, our Yo did a single shot, our E50M did two shots on the flank, our V4 did two shots on the flank as well. 4005 not doing much better in our spawn. So yeah, our flanking team, 42 percenters, you can't trust them too much, so sadly ripped the 90% win rate, but we can probably get it back. Most annoying tank, you're saying my name, <laughs> right? Ah, thank you, Keegan, I do appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Sadly, we lost that one. Air 414 not found. Yeah, yeah, totally. I, I didn't I didn't realize our flank was gonna get slaughtered that fast, considering they were winning initially. And I didn't think my front frontline team was gonna do so bad. But since our Yo only did one shot before dying, it it does kind of make sense. Games are bad when you try hard. I suppose. Okay. So we have a Sheridan, a Type 61 over here on the left. I'm in the 100. We have a WZ with me. 183 spawn sniping. Our 57's wandering into Narnia, but I won't worry too much about him right now. The enemy team definitely have positioning here for against me and my allies. I want to see what I can do about this, though. Let's see. Enemy ISA being quite aggressive. Let's put a snapshot towards him. Once again, you can really notice the dispersion nerf on this tank in situations like that, where it's just the bloom is just massive. And unfortunately, we were not able to farm Mr. IS-8 when he was poking very, very aggressively there. All right. So let's see, 50 TP, 215B are both up top here. Looks like the Sheridan's gonna try and put a shell towards me, maybe. I don't know if the 215B has the gun depression to shoot at me, but most 215Bs run rammers, so it looks like he's running calibrated. Sheridan's been quite aggressive, and oh, snapshot. I'm gonna have to pull back into the mid here, because it looks like my team have lost C-cap. Now I should be fine here, with the 183 as cover fire and so on. And this enemy Sheridan is being try quite, quite aggressive. All right, let's put a quick shell to the ISA, and no! Unfortunately, bouncing off the ice 8 there, I'm going to be the frontline force here to hold off the majority of the enemy's team. Hopefully, my allies are here to support me be very quickly, because if not, well, this game is definitely going to look pretty bad for me. All right, enemy ISA being quite aggressive. Somehow pens that, but oh, he takes a massive headshot there. Put another shell into this man's and pull back. Okay, ISA is now a one shot. We are down 3-0. and oh. Sadly, our WZ-57, instead of going back and holding our spawn, have just completely dumped this side and ran off, and therefore we are losing pretty badly over here. I should have a kill shot on this IS-8 momentarily if he's still in the vicinity. Not quite, but we have a shot on that 183, so let's put a quick shot to him. There we go, that's 2k damage dealt. 50 TPs on the flank here. The Fosh is starting to pull on up towards me, although the Fosh really can't do much about me just yet. So let's get safe from the Foshy poo He seems like he's just kind of YOLOing in here. And so let's just wait for him to get nice. Up close and personal, my 370 Heat should have absolutely no problem gaming on this Fosh's armor profile, so let's put a quick shot to him. Okay, the score is 4-2. We still have a Sheridan to deal with. The 183 is pretty low. 50 TP's on our flank here. Our 57 and WZ both get taken down. Well, ain't that unfortunate. Okay, so looks like my allies are just kind of throwing here. All right, we have this, this 50 TP. I'm gonna try and help our 183 out. Nice little max roll into this man. So hopefully the 183 can deal with the other tanks. I'm gonna have to start pulling into the mid here very very shortly all right the 183 is kind of getting gamed on just ever so slightly here but let's see if we can do anything about 215b can't do anything about the 215b just yet let's see okay 183 does manage to pick up a very clutch kill shot here but no the sheridan or is is behind me here let's put a quick kill shot to him all right and we can now start backing up from this 215b here 
is this going to drop down above me? I know the 50 TP is probably going to go into the entrance of town as well. So, here's what we can do here. We're in an okay position to maybe clutch up. Question is, oh no, there's a tank behind me. Oh, it's a 1A3. Well, that's bad. 1607, he had a max roll loaded up. I forgot about the 1A3. I forgot he dropped down. Yikers. Nothing I can do with another brainlit team. Um, looks like the, the matchmaking has turned around on me and I'm getting all the Pepega allies. WZ and 57, absolutely useless play by them going on the flank just to immediately die doing two shots apiece. Our E4, I don't know what he did. Sheridan at least tried to escape and the 1A3 did an okay job on that main flank there, but yikers, man. That team was pretty bad. That team was pretty, pretty bad indeed. HRF is bad 24 at loss rate career. <laughs> I was 26% player, but I got 50.32% now. Just listen to him to talk for five seconds. Guys, is this streamer a god player? No, no, I'm absolutely garbage. Didn't you just see? I didn't manage to clutch up and I only did 3k damage, which is pretty bad. So, yikers. <laughs> time to camp, bro. Dude, it might be time to camp with these teams. I swear. Everyone's just suiciding. Dang it. If that 1A3 didn't go for the smart flank there, I feel like I actually could have won that game. But the 1A3 unfortunately got behind me. I should have predicted that and pulled back faster. That was uh, that was a mistake. I, I, I completely forgot. I knew he dropped down, but then he was unspotted for so long that I was just focusing on trying to kill the 2 and 5B there. Feels bad, man. I should have just yelled the 2 and 5B like I was thinking of doing. That way the 1A3 wouldn't have had shots on me. But oh well. Can't do anything about it now. Anyways, let's just go full heavy side on C cap. Enemy team do have a 60 TP Kron E100 and a 113. Very strong heavies. I would not be surprised if they bring their force here. I do have a mouse and another E100. So we do have some meat shields and we do have some very strong heavies as well. We'll just have to see how the enemy decides to play it out. 60 TP fires, put a quick shot onto his tracks and back up from him. I'm sorry if I did block you there, mouse. I just don't want to take any unnecessary shots yet, especially in a full on quad heavy tank engagement like this. Better to play it safe than sorry. All right, so enemy 60 TP is just kind of chilling over here. Enemy Kron is kind of behind him. Let's see if we can pull back slightly, get a shell into his lower plate. 60 TP not making the best trades. He's already down to half hit points here. And so we are winning this flank so far, but my meds are maybe not doing so well. And our E100 did also kind of just die for no reason. Okay, so I'm gonna let our mouse take some of these shots. Very good shot by the mouse. The 60 TP on the enemy team has just fired, so I know I'm good to shoot this Kronwagen at least once here. He does track. Let's use a repair kit. Let's pull another shell into the Kron. Let's pull it back up real quickly. Their heavy tanks are all stuck in a corner. This is a very nice farm fest for me here, I believe, in just a moment. Our mouse does take a shot here. Let's take two shots here. But most of their team has fired. The Kron might still have a shell left, but I'd rather put a shell into them and pull back here. Very nice. Enemy team is just losing this side. Very hardcore. I take it back. We have lost another ally. So my allies are just losing this side. But, you know, with me and this absolute giga chat of a, of a mouse here, the enemy team are definitely going to lose this flank here in just a moment's time. All right, let's aim at AP shell at this dude's hatch. 604. Very nice. Bringing the 60 TP down to a one shot. Now our mouse is low, so I'm going to tell him to hold position. Once I'm almost reloaded, I'll send it onto that onto the 60 TP here. All right, 60 TP being a little aggressive. Let's angle up just a little bit. He does ricochet that shell, which is cool. We're going to wait till we get an upper plate shot here. Kill shot onto this dude. We do take a track shot from the 113. I'm going to push him out in front of our grill 15 here. Very nice. Oh, a single hit point. Dude gets a little bit lucky there. He does put a heat shell onto me, and those meds are coming on up behind us here. So, grill of 15 is now, I guess I'll pick up this kill for my team. As you can see, 113 heat, yeah, it's gonna have absolutely no problem penning the front of my turret in a situation like that. All right, M48 pounds being quite aggro. I can take three shots from these dudes before it's too late. So let's just pull on up around here. We'll angle up just a little bit. Okay, unfortunately, we do take one shot from the pattern there, but if we just pressure him into the open here, uh-oh, uh-oh, bat shot to yawn is pulling forward here. Let's put a quick angle up to the bat shot to yawn. Very nice. Bashatheon still has a third shot. I'm going to act like I'm just backing up here. Okay, Bashatheon's all that's left. Okay, cool. So we should be good to win this game, I think. Well, let's just wait to see what Mr. Bashatheon does. We have enough hit points. Yeah, me and the Grill and Mouse are healthy enough. Although, if this Bashat plays is smart, we might lose this. But we do have 700 cap points. I am a two-shot to the Bashatheon. And, it, you know, we could just go around capping bases and bait him out. And hopefully, we should be good. So I'm going to go see if I can find Mr. Bashatheon. We do spot up Mr. Bashatheon. Unlucky for Mr. Bashatheon, he gets spotted in the open. He cannot pen in front of my turret. I know that because Bashat doesn't have enough heat pen. So I don't have to worry too much about him penning me here. I think he's just going to yellow back to try and kill me. 
That's the most likely play for him. But if he does that, I do have my whole team around this corner. Let's use this little mini hill as cover for my tracks. And let's see where he goes. Okay, so he hasn't gone this way just yet. Okay, here's Mr. Bashot the on. He does hit one shot to my lower plate here. One HE shell into him. And oh, we get a little bit unlucky here. All right, all right. Let's angle up a little bit. Okay, Grill, you got him. Nice. Oh, he gets HE. I'm not really sure where that shot went on the bat shot, but I felt like that shot delayed a little bit. I should have had at least 900 HE into him. That was a bit weird. I, I'll, I'm going to go look back and check that out because I'm a little confused where the shot went on that bat shot. We should have had 4K plus that game. Um, because I felt like his whole tank was in my reticle when I pushed in on him. Let's see. So he starts pushing into me, right? I'm just trying to see where the shell went. Okay, we have an HE shell loaded. Here's where I shoot. But my shot lands way over there. Okay, there was a server reticle delay. That's the only explanation. My turret actually wasn't fully traversed in game as what I saw visually on my screen. Well, that's annoying. I was wondering how that shot missed because I was like, I led that shot perfectly where it should have just bombed him right in the front. But, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely some server reticle lag. Feels bad, man. Say my last name, Zieg. I think that's what it is. Hopefully, it's nothing inappropriate. <laughs> Say me last name. For, I forgot to do his daily deed of RNG, Keck W. I know. I know, right? That's two troll uh, clutch last minute shots. Although that one was down to server reticle, not my aim. As you guys saw right there, the show landed way outside of physically in the realm of where my shot should have even been able to land. <laughs> Very nice server reticle lag. But let's jump back into the next game. All right, we have a wild 54 and Amex 30 over here. All right, watch, we hit those. We don't hit those. He, he's not in a position for me to hit him. Amex 50 is rotating back towards mid. Sheridan's in the mid. 57 on the enemy team is rotating out. I believe their team's not going to all be here. His enemy's 57. He's going to try to shoot me, but once again, server reticle lag. <laughs> it's a little bit bad right now. I don't know why, but that shot definitely should not have landed all the way on that left-hand corner there. That was kind of outside of my, like, uh, outside of where it should have gone. So, let's see. Amex 50V is just YOLOing to the mid to his death. I think I'm going to go join the Sheridan here in Narnia. This is, this looks like fun. This 50B looks like fun is what I meant to say. 50B is still full sending it all the way through our spawn here. Let's aim at HE shell into his rear. What? No way. So unfortunately that shell doesn't pen. We do have the E4 pulling on up behind us here. I am taking some shots from 54. The E4 has just fired though, so I don't have to worry about the 54. Let's clear our spawn. I think that's a little bit more important right now as the enemy team are kind of pushing in from all sides here. Put a quick track shot towards the E4 and the E100's gun says no thank you. So sadly, me and this 183 both ricocheting off this E4. I'm going to ram him to make him a one shot. He's now a one shot. So I can pick up a kill on this dude, hopefully, before the E4 reloads and shoots at you. No, he does kill a 183, sad. Okay, now I can help our Sheridan out here. The 50B is going to go down shortly. The Sheridan is just kind of big chilling in Narnia right now. So let's see if we can do anything about him. I still have five seconds left on the reload here. Come on, come on, Sheridan. Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Where you going? Sheridan's running away, but will he be fast enough? Will he be fast enough? Okay, Sheridan taking one shot for the team. HE into the side. He gets taken down. Very cool. So in that type of situation, instead of sitting in the mid and letting myself get crossfired out, what you really want to do is rotate out and clear out the crossfires as quickly as possible. And that's why I just immediately went back for our spawn. The moment I saw the 50B and all those other dudes back there. Because clearing our spawn was going to be most vital for me and my teammates. Put a quick shot into the 57. Apparently, he's not going to make the Sheridan a one shot, even though the Sheridan is probably more deadly with that mobility. But... We are in an okay position for now. I'm going to wait for the ice to shoot at him. I think the 57 is reloading at this point because he didn't shoot a, th a third shell. Unfortunately, we do lose one of my allies there. Okay, this is not looking too good for me and my teammates. The Act Tiger shouldn't be able to pen me, so if I just pull forward a little bit here, that should be a kill shot in 57. Very cool. And that leaves Mr. Yag Tiger just chilling here around this corner. Uh, there's not really a whole lot he can do to me. So let's just wait for him to give me for him to give me a nice little nice little shot straight through the front of his tank here. He is rotating out. Let's put a quick shot into his engine deck. That's 715. 405 is about to kill our 50B here. I'm gonna rotate back. We're gonna angle our hole in last second here to bait the tracks. Very good. 405 still has at minimum two shots left. So we're gonna try and bait one. So sadly, we do not manage to bait that shell there. Yag Tiger's fired. And the 405 is now on a long reload. Now the 405 is much faster than me. 
And uh, he could theoretically one clip me here. So I gotta be a little bit careful about getting too much into the way of this 4005 here. And so let's get ready to put one high explosive shell into the 4005. He has, probably has a spall liner. Very nice. We're just going to keep maintaining our close proximity to him. Realistically, this 4005 should try and kill me, but I'm going to ram him against this wall here. We do not manage to ricochet that first shell. He has high rolled his clip so far, but will he be able to high roll that last shell? He does high roll it. The ice 8 you got this ice 8 He's reloading. Come on, ice 8 Oh, and the fire. Let's go. Easy claps. Okay. I figured the 4005 would just try and one clip me there in that situation, so I pinned him against the wall. That way, <laughs> that sounds way too violent. I uh, got his tank stuck against the wall. That way he would not be able to traverse to kill our IS-8. And that way he had to choose at least kill me or just sit there and do nothing. And which would allow our IS-8 to pick up the win there. So 5k damage still, not too bad. Skill issue, not gonna lie. <laughs> Fanis, if you, if you say... If you say like a good neighbor, aren't you there? You'll win more. Mm, maybe. I just subbed recently. I've been watching your old live videos. Good to finally catch you live. The year 1941. Hello. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Do appreciate it. We are almost at that 30k mark. So uh, thank you for the help. Fanis, embarrass me. My name is... King... What? Why, why do you want me to embarrass you? What is this? What is this, uh, embarrassment that you want? <laughs> Pinned him against the wall. LOL. <laughs> okay, I have no allies for support, except for a measly 183. You know what? The 183 is an absolute gamer. I bet he'll support me all I need. Although they do have a Type 71 and a 113. So, I'm not going to overcommit here. Oh, no, that's an enemy E100. Let's put a heat shell to him and angle up a little bit here. He does pen me. Okay, let's start backing up from this crossfire. So, enemy team are just full sending it on this side. I'm going to make it my goal to at least get out of here as quickly as possible before our 183 goes down, hopefully. All right, let's see. The 62A is giving me a side shot. Let's put one quick side shot into him. Very nice. We're going to angle up to the type just a little bit here. And I'm going to keep angling around this building. That way, I don't expose my whole side. But no, the building ever so slightly catching me off guard there. My team is just absolutely nowhere to be found, apparently. So, thank you so much to you guys. I have no support here. Let's put a quick shell into this 113 here. And it's pretty much game over for me, isn't it? So, not a whole lot I can do in this type of situation. Now, the Type 71 is getting a bit distracted here. So, we're going to try and reverse angle up to the best of my ability here. Come on. Oh, we do get the reverse angle off. One more shell into this dude. Very cool. Let's angle up to the Type and the E100 as well. Come on. Come on, allies. Kill this dude. Kill him. Kill him before it's too late. Okay, so my team are just botting at this point. I mean, the 183 stayed. I don't know why they yelled across. All we had to do was just sit back. They should be able to win this, but I should have ran away a little bit faster. It was my mistake pulling in towards C when I, re when I realized my whole team is just wandering into Narnia. I don't know why the whole team went this way, but I mean, it will work out in the end because the enemy team committed four tanks to kill me and they didn't even manage to kill the 183. So in the end as a dub, was it a fun game? Not really. Yeah, not getting YOLO'd by all of their heavy tanks, but I mean, their 113 got full health for it. Their type in E100 were just sitting in Narnia the whole time. Their Yag got wrecked and their 62 got wrecked. So it, it's a win situation, although maybe not ideal for farm. <laughs> Take the aim assist off while scoping. You might aim and miss less. Uh, not if you've been using aim assist since you started playing, essentially. Well, maybe not since for like six years now. <laughs> shout out, please. Shout out. There you go. You got your shout out. Shout out. <laughs> old, old good times when Ferdinand got matchmaker with E100s. Oh, yeah, dude. I remember those days, dude. E100 Ferdinand. Facing for a stock for so I the Yag Panzer Water was my first tech tree and I played the stock for a man. Now imagine a stock for a man, which is an absolute slug, absolutely slow tank with a 107 millimeter gun with 310 alpha damage, okay accuracy, no provisions or anything like that. And what did you get to do? You couldn't do anything. You just sat there and let yourself get double tapped by E100s because you had nothing else you could do. You couldn't pen them, you really couldn't do anything. So yeah, I remember those good old days. <laughs> Alright, so we got 2,500 damage out that game. It wasn't bad. 
considering we get we did get Yola by their whole team, we survived just long enough to give my team enough time to really recover from that game. If I died any faster there, my team very easily could have lost that. But luckily, I was able to pull back far enough to kind of drag their team really far out of the engagement. It took them a while to kill me. So we did win. We did a good job as a heavy tank. Uh, but it wasn't really so much a fun heavy tank job. I'll tell you that for sure. I, I wasn't having fun that game. Although, at least it depended on my shots. <laughs> All Red wanted to, to get the 100 felt like a, a god with the 100. Ah, uh, yes. E100 snipe. Win. <laughs> okay, so, Sheridan's in the mid. I'm gonna go to town because, honestly, I cannot be bothered to going into the right-hand side of the map. A side, B side. It's way too big, way too open. Once again, with the Evil 100, you generally want to find a location where you have some more reliable, solid cover. So, the town's perfect for that. I'm not gonna overcommit, though. Reason being is the enemy team have not yet been fully spotted at AB. And I really don't have any support in town here. All right, so enemy 260 gets spotted in the open. Let's put a snap shell into him, and uh, that shot goes to Nardia and doesn't bend his space armor, so good for him. And luckily for me, as I did not overcommit, although the type's looking my way, so let's angle up to the type for a second here. As I did not overcommit, I'm not getting farmed out now, which is cool. K91 and type are a bit lost, but I think they're going to pull out soon. Looks like the Kron and Object 260 are both just chilling over here. I don't know if I really want to overextend down this way. I do have an IS-4 for some support, so we can get a shell into this type uh, Object 260 at least. Boom, 669. Very nice. Let's pull back. I'm just trying to figure out where that, sh where that uh, Badger is, because the Badger will wreck me in town. If I try and take a frontal engagement versus their Badger, I am, I am donezo. So... Let's get ready to deal with 260 here. 260 has just fired once again. Let's aim for that weak spot of his pike nose. 660 damage dealt once more. Let's angle our haul in a little bit here. Looks like the Badger's on the flank. Okay, never mind. The Badger's getting wrecked on the flank by himself. I don't think I have to worry too much then. Cool. All right, so Kron's fired once. 260 is not in a position of full safety here. Let's put a quick kill shot onto him. Nice. We're getting ready to start dealing with the Kronwagen next here. Looks like the Kronwagen is kind of just chilling in Narnia right now. So... I want to just send this Kranwagen some salutations from Germany. Okay, Mr. Kranwagen. Salutations. Okay, what? 550, but it's not at full... It, how do I splash him for 550, but I don't pen him? Well, that sucks. Okay. I honestly thought I was going to max all the H into the side of his turret, but so is the way of life. All right, I swear you got him, right? I'm just going to stay here just in case. Okay, there we go. Cool stuff. Okay, Sheridan's in the mid. K91's down. Almost. I mean, the Sheridan's almost down. The K91 is going to be pulling back a little bit here. I believe the K91's about to pull forward. He's, he just popped his engine sped boost. And so, sped boost K91 in the open. Let's aim a shell for his turret. And I should have spent longer aiming that in. I thought he was yellowing across, but turns out he is not. Okay. Here's the Sheridan. I'm going to let our IS-4 know he's there just by targeting him. I'm going to go for the K91 right now. We are good on caps, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, the WZ120, who knows where he is. Can anyone might get farmed out here soon? Doesn't look like the case. There's the WZ120. WZ's in town. Definitely got to kill the K91 as quickly as possible while we still can. So I'm going to pull around sideways behind this dude, and we're just going to bop him in the back. Nice little fire. Nice little clear. Very cool. Enemy team have a tank on C. We still have B cap here. The Sheridan's probably just going to make a break for it. I do have a Yag, and I have some full hit points at A, so I don't have to worry too much about our spawn. It looks like our Centurion is going to clear that side out. I want to tell the Cent to maybe cap A. I'm just going to go back for C. I think the WZ, or is that 55A? 55A is the one that capped C. We'll see. Uh, there is the Sheridan. He's about to bomb our Yag. Okay, so the, the 55A was the one that was on C. I'm going to get back on C for the sake of my team here. Oh, there's the 55A, though. Let's see if we can pull back. Do we believe in the gun? We believe. Nice. Okay, since I'm too slow to chase the Sheridan down, I'll let the Scent and Yag deal with them. I'll just, just as a precaution, hop onto A cap, I mean C cap, just in case, for some bizarre reason, my team all lose that side. And we should be good to get the dub here. Not an overly exciting game, but I shall happily take it. It is a win after all, so I won't be too disappointed. And we did get a decent amount of damage out there, I think, at the end. Maybe 4.5k-ish or so? Oh, 3.7. I wasn't keeping track. That was just a guess. Okay, 3.7. Not bad. We are still holding the solid 3800. 18 games in, 83% win rate. Your water's doing pretty good. It's doing pretty good. Ice worker in front bounce 183 hash. It takes luck, but it, but it's doable. Ice for is solid but boring in my opinion. Yeah, that's why I never played the ice for dude. The ice is just such a boring tank. You have to have no 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 excitement. 
You have to enjoy suffering if you like to play the Ice Sport. The mouse is even worse nowadays, dude. The mouse is so bad, dude. Its gun is awful. Its gun is really, really bad. And plays on top of that, the fact that it goes 25 kilometers an hour and you're in for some suffering. I'm definitely not serving the mouse again until it gets buffed to, to something. <laughs> Fatness, which do you think is better? VK72 or K or E100? Also, two or more subs for 30k and 10 hour stream. Oh gosh, I said I was gonna do a 10 hour stream, but my semester starts up this week. And then I won't have time. I'll barely have time to do one stream a week. Okay. Tomorrow's Saturday, right? I know we're not quite at 30k, but we're gonna be pretty close. Heck, we might even reach 30k tomorrow. Would you guys be down to maybe me doing a impromptu? Uh, if I'm feeling up to it, 10 hour stream tomorrow morning. It would be start at like 11 a.m. my time, maybe last until like 9 p.m. Uh, this is the only time I'll probably have to do it. It's a little before 30k subs. This is true, but it's not the end of the world because we sh we might even reach 30k subs while we're at it. So let me know what y'all think. Let's put a blind shot into this dude. That stupid wall was blocking me from finding his tank's position there. And also... My goodness, that is a lot of enemy vehicles. Okay, I hope the 183 isn't waiting to hush me from their spawn. That's why I'm angling my turret this way for now. Okay, let's pull back from their 113. 113 just fired. There's the 183. Okay, let's act like we're not looking just yet here. We're going to start pulling back towards Encounter Cap. We've already lost town. It's a waste of my time to do much else. Unfortunately, that shot does not hit the 54. He kind of baited me there. Good shot by him. Now we should be safe. So the whole enemy team just blitzed through town. We all have total map control soon. Cap control as well. If the 113's running calibrated, he'll pen me with no problem. But if he's not, then I should be able to pen him no problem and be able to bounce in. You're kidding me, right? Where did that shot go? So unfortunately, bouncing a shell on the 57 Heavy there. I'm going to keep pulling back away from these kind of crossfires here. Hopefully the 113's not running calibrated. If he's not, we're good. We're good. Okay, we do manage to bounce a heat shell from him. 57 is looking back my way. So I was able to escape fast enough there just in time. If I hadn't ran away when I did, I definitely would have been bopped for a lot of hit points. 57's pulling forward a little bit too much. 686 damage into him. Very good. I'm going to continue to stay angled up here. Let's see. Anything in my spawn? Okay, the 183 can cover me if the 113 and 57 get aggroed on that right side. I'm going to continue trying to cover for our Conqueror here. Unfortunately, Conqueror gets taken down, but oh, the 57 loses a ton of hit points to the 183. That's what we like to see. 113 getting a little aggro here. Boom, 630 into the side. I'm just going to be the, uh, the big old boy providing cover fire for my allies right now. And so far, we're in a good spot to win this game. This is precisely why. This is precisely why I say do not full commit your team to town. It is a bad idea because what happens is you get surrounded and you die. I mean, look at the 57. Look at the... Um, Look at the 113. Like, these dudes are just dead, right? And while the 183 is bossing on this flank by himself, it's not going to matter because their whole team is just dying. So, little tip. If you're playing on vineyards, don't commit your whole team to town. It's, generally speaking, not a very good idea. Let's put a shell into this IS-7. Oh, 800 max roll. Let's angle up our hull a little bit here. Get in the ricochet. Let's go. We blocked 1,600 damage so far. There is still some farm to be had, possibly. 60 TP is on reload for the time being, so let's get ready to bomb the IS-7 while we're waiting for it for that to happen. Here's the IS-7. It's going to give me a lower plate shot here. 701. Very nice. Let's pull back for a second here. Now, my allies are kind of throwing just, just a little bit here. Nice. The IS-7 providing the perfect meat shield against the 183 there. Let's angle up our turret to the 60 TP. 183 does splash me, but it's not enough. And that means I can just push on in behind this tortoise. Hopefully, if he doesn't turn to shoot me, we're good. 57 should have the kill regardless. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna wait it out. I don't want the 60 TB to bomb me from behind, but we should be good. Alright, let's put a kill shot to this dude. Very nice. 60 TB just fired. He shouldn't be able to kill me unless he mega high rolls. And so that should be this game over with for the enemy team. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, 60 TB. What you're gonna do? You're just gonna let the 57 clip you out for free, buddy? There we go. He does put a heat shelter in front of my turret, but we all set. We got about 3,900 damage out so far. And not a half bad game. Not a half bad game at all. Oh, 183 fluffs a shot. All right, 1HE. Nice. Goof, I hate towns. <laughs> so, we'll ask a good question. A good tier X tank uh, to get first. I'm still debating on the first tier X. I mean, IS-7 is still a great tank, dude. Like, you can never go wrong with the IS-7, I swear. GG tier 57. Did a good job farming town there. So, yeah. Let me, uh, let me know, guys, if you're interested in maybe me doing a 10-hour stream tomorrow. 
Maybe. It's not it's not set in stone. It's something I've been thinking of just because once my semester starts up, I won't have a lot of time. Just uh just just imagine. I'm I, like just take me. You guys know me. I'm a sweaty blood blitz player, right? I'm always aiming for the highest average damage possible that I can get whenever I get a new tank slash win rate. Always trying to work towards uh, stat averages and stuff like that. Now apply that to college work. Sprinkle in a little bit of that to Asian sauce and you got yourself an absolute sweaty college student that I am. And then, um, yeah, I won't have any free time after that. <laughs> Not for the next 16 weeks. It'll be, it'll, it'll be good, but I'll be very stressed out. <laughs> As per usual, I will uh, I will still try to stream for you guys once a week though. Okay, so jumping into another game with a good old E100 here. Enemy team, okay, the Yag's not here. Their Sheridan is on A already. Uh, they still have some heavy tanks, some TDs. There's the IS-7 at B cap, but it looks like their team split up. I'm mostly worried about what that E4 potentially could be doing, but let's see if we can spot them up first back here. Enemy type 71 is spotted and, you know, he's AFK for the time being. So let's just put a quick shell into him. I think his game crashed because his turret is traversed, which tells me he did wake up at one point. I'd rather clear his tank out because firstly, he's going to keep spotting me up. And secondly, it's a type 71 and therefore I hate it, hate it on by default. All right, let's pray to RNG. Please hit your shot. Thank you. See, it always works. It always works. <laughs> All right, AMX 30B should be able to finish him off. Cool, cool, cool. All right, cool. So the Type 71 is about to get bombed by the 30B. It looks like my team is struggling in the mid here ever so slightly. There's the enemy Sheridan. Let's see if this E4 pulls forward. There's the E4 and Grill. E4 is getting ready to pull forward here. What's pre-aim for him or the Sheridan? Of course. Of course. The Sheridan unwilling, unknowingly backs up into my shot and it ricochets. That is a classic case of Sheridan armor profile trolling you. All right, type goes down. I-7 is going to be next. I guess I'll upper 2 and 5B bomb him because why not? But let's try and stay safe from the jaeger We don't want to get jaeger root on. Very cool indeed. A lot of a heat shell for Mr. I-7. Pick up a quick kill on him. Nice stuff. There's the Gorilla 15 over here. Let's angle up our turret ever so slightly. Hopefully we're still secure. Nice getting a little ricochet from our mans. Let's pull back so the E4 can't shoot me yet either. E4 is kind of suiciding right now. E50M being really aggro. E4 has killed our 2 and 5B who also suicided a little bit here. Let's pick up a kill on the E4. And it looks like my allies are not doing so well. Let's angle down to the E50M. He shouldn't be able to pen me all that easily to be honest from this angle. Cool stuff. Okay, so... There we go, baiting the 50M. The Yag's my main concern. I'd really rather not take a shot from him. Okay, there's the 50M. Let's put a quick shot onto him. Let's pull back down. I don't want to take a shot from the Yag. I don't know where the Grill is. The Grill is... Oh, the Sheridan is flanking me. Of course he is. But, um, I should be secure for now. Okay. Cool stuff. We are secure for now. All right. If the Sheridan gets a little bit more aggro, I can just immediately turn around and deal with them. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's pull away from the Sheridan here. There's the 50M. Sheridan is shooting at our jaeger -Roo. Sheridan is starting to pull away into safety. Now I should be able to pull out of this crossfire at least. Uh, that's a Yag. Let's pull back from that. Okay, we managed to bait the Yag. Cool stuff. There's the Gorilla 15. The enemy's Yag is low hit points. Let's see if we can pick up a kill shot on them in just a second here. All right, we're going to aim this one in carefully. Of course. Okay, you're dead to our Yag, though, dude. Like, why, why'd you sit in the open to shoot at me, Aiden? Yag, are you gonna kill him? He fired at me already. Our Yag is throwing. Goodness, jaeger -roo, what was that? Dude, I thought our Yag was gonna be there to help me out. Oh, man. Well, this game isn't looking too good for me. Oh, my gosh. The Sheridan has just been sitting here all game tunneling. And this game is over. Thanks, thanks to our Yag refusing to kill that dude. I don't know why he decided it was a better idea to not kill the Yag that wasn't even looking at him. He just had to pull forward like two inches. <laughs> We're gonna lose this to Cap, unless we manage to take A, which is unlikely. Um, okay, there's their grill. The E50M is now a one shot, but I'm gonna prepare for their Sheridan. Looks like our Yag's going for A right now. Oh, there's their Sheridan. Let's put a quick snapshot into this dude here. He does manage to just get around me. Please miss. Oh, he messes the shot up. Tomorrow. Let's go. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. If I can stay safe from the 50M here for the time being. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, oh, the grill's got me, sadly. I can't do anything about it. 
Yag might be able to clutch up, but I don't think he has the HP to do it. Let's see if he can pull off the cap. If he HE kills the grill, then he can do it. Let's see. Oh, come on. You got it. HE shot. HE kill him. High roll HE. Do it. Pet it. <gasps> he could actually pull it off. Maybe the Yag's going to clutch up. Maybe the Yag's massive, uh, massive brain. This dude is massive brain. As long as the Sheridan doesn't high roll him, he should win on cap. I don't think the Sheridan has the reload to kill him. Yeah, the Sheridan's gone for C, so Yag just has to cap B. This is so easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what, Yag? I doubted you at first, although this game would have been a lot easier if you just killed the Yag that wasn't looking at you, but you know what? I think he's got it in the bag. I mean, he doesn't have to do anything. He's, he wins in another, like, 15 seconds or so. There we go. Yay. That's what I like to see. You hit those. Oh, my! He... He did not just HE the Sheridan at the end to add insult to injury, did he? Oh my gosh. That Yag just totally brained on him. Okay, you know what, Yag? I had my doubt in you, but at that that last shot was worth a fist bump and a half. Good job. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, by the way, for the 200 likes and um, 10 hours stream tomorrow. Stars. Okay, you guys seem like you want it, so let's go. <laughs> I will do my best, which means today's stream will have to be less than three hours because I'll need time for my voice to recuperate before tomorrow's stream. Uh, we are getting close to 30k subs, though. I will admit we might be able to pull it off tomorrow. Uh, we are at 2,020... Not 2,000, goodness. I'd be sad if it was 2,000. 29,820. So we're only 180 subs away. So if you have not yet subbed and you do like the HRF content, please do consider subscribing. Thank you very much. Uh, the Yag predicted everything. Dude, that Yag was big brain. Yag actually cracked. I know, he clutched up in the end. He, like... He like let all he he made all of his bad plays at that start slash middle portion like uh, kind of just being super passive the enemy spawn not really not really pressuring the 50 m out till it was too late not keeping the yag down and stuff like that but then he just went big brain mode at the end. S tier Jaeger Roo. Help me, how's it going by the way? <laughs> oh man, that wasn't a bad game. Good old E 100 stuff. I wonder what I should stream tomorrow though. Should I just like try and play every single tier 10 or? I haven't really thought about that because I didn't think I was going to do it. But now I have to think about that. Now I've got to go big brain mode with you guys. Will you help me gain the last 108 fatness? That will help you guess, get, get the la gain the last 108. 180 is actually what I need. All right. We have a wild i7 here. Boom. 516 to his side. Let's angle up in case they have any wild TDs crossing. So we did manage to get an early shot to the i7, which is cool. I'm going to continue hugging this corner for now. And it looks like my team's sending no one to the corner corner. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before Mr. Ice Sun tries fully crossing. So let's just pre-aim. Well, let's pre-aim away for him to fully cross. Okay, they do have STB, Fosh, and 62 on that side. Enemy team seems to be a little bit split up right now. Let me see if anyone else is over here. No one else spotted just yet. Okay, that's interesting. Now they have a 183. They still have a type that could have made it to the corner. There's an STB type 71. Is that Ice Sun by himself? Oh man, we gotta we gotta clear this side better. Chieftain's just like sitting in spawn. Okay, there's the enemy's IS7. Okay, he's spotted. Come on guys, crossfire him out. I believe in y'all. Go for it. I'm gonna start pressuring this side because we're gonna lose the med side very quickly here. I don't have any crossfire, do I? No, I don't. Play every tier eight to ten once. Weary <laughs> face. Play every tier eight to ten once? Are you insane? Do you know how many tier eight? There's like twice as many tier eights compared to tier ten. I would die. <laughs> Tier 9 to tier 10, potentially. <laughs> Stars, thanks for the donation, by the way. I don't know about tier 8 to tier 10, though, dude. Tier 8 to tier 10 is a lot. All right, here's the 183. Oh, my. Server reticle. Hello, hello. Also, thank you so much, allies, for not pushing in with me. Instead, you're all sitting in Narnia, which is not what you want. Okay. So, my whole team is just kind of big chilling in Narnia right now instead of pressuring like they should be. Um, and I can't do anything about Mr. 183 here. Okay. I'm gonna act like I'm running away. Because I'll need to run away to the corner here in just a second. Okay, the 183 just fired. I'll need to, I need to clear this IS-7 out. That's my only hope of winning this game at this point. IS-7 does ricochet a shot. 183 is thinking of pulling forward, I think. Not quite. Okay. We're just gonna have to bring out the IS-7. Dude, this team is bad. I don't know what my team is doing. They refuse. They absolutely refused to push heavy side with me when I was going to take all the shots for them. But no, they just didn't want to. 
they just didn't feel like it apparently. All right, let's angle up to the I-7 here a little bit. He's shooting down on me, so my lower plate should be pretty good here. Maybe he's running calibrated. Um, I don't know how bad of a team I had here, but that was pretty darn bad. Uh, that's that's all I can say. Enemy STB-1 is pulling forward a little bit. Let's put a quick shot to him. 670. Let's angle our tank around here so we're not rear on to everyone. We're going to try and back up into this corner now. I will take a few shots backing up. It's it's already kind of game over at this point. There's not a whole lot for me to do here. we at least bounce a shot. All right, 62 being nice and aggro. Let's put a quick shot to him. Try and angle up to the 183 here. Let's try and bait that lower plate. Okay, we bait it. Let's angle up a little bit harder. Keep angling, keep angling, keep angling, keep angling. All right, I guess it's game over for me. I did my best. With the team I was given, I did my best. Oh, nice. I got 400 damage in the 183 at the end. Um, goodness. Heavies were absolutely useless there. They could have taken corner. We could have won. Um, our Yag did zero. 45. Our VK did one shot. 49. I don't blame our meds too much for getting just wrecked and spawn. And our Chieftain did two, three shots. Oh, man. That game was just over instantly. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> Feels mega bad. There wasn't really much I could do there. We had to clear the heavy side out before we lost mid. And if the VK and the Chieftain had just pushed with me, we could have cleared that I-7 and 183 out quickly and then held A corner and won. But they just sat there. Sad. Good luck in school this year. And thanks again for all the streams this summer. Hey, now 79. Thank you so much for the donation. Really do appreciate it. the streams this summer. Thank you, thank you. I will be very, very busy this semester. Last semester was just a warm-up round. This semester is where I get very serious into my main course of classes, and so... <sighs> I'm gonna be busy, but I do appreciate the donation. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Very good. Hey, Fantasy, do you play on any server or EU? I play on the North American server, so there you go. I'm an NA boy. Let's go. All right, we have a wild big brain IS-7. A big brain yo. It's yoink the yo and pull into cover fire. 700 damage. Del, owie, that had to hurt. Me and the K91 playing aggressively here, but only an STB for support. The entirety of the enemy team appears to be around this corner, though, so we will keep an eye out on that. This VKB is just, like, reverse sidescaping or something. I don't know what precisely what he's trying to do here. Dispatch shot's getting a little over-aggressive. 711 into him. Jaeger is just kind of kind of big brain on us over here. He might shoot heat through the front of my turret. I'm going to try and angle it up a little bit. we got to clear this Yag out or IS-7 out. Oh, apparently he can shoot over that into my lower plate. Bit of a misplay by me. But the Yag is now by himself in the middle of the crossfire. He's getting flanked by the K91. He was a little over aggressive there. K91's just being a, a gamer warlord over here with the perma tracking shots. And so all I have to do is just keep holding this corner back a little bit. So Yag's gonna push forward. Hopefully he shoots at the STB. He does shoot the STB and not me. And that means I can put a shell to his lower plate here. K91 should have him in a moment. Very nice. Good job to this K91. Shout out to you, sir. You did a really good job there. He 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 read that the Yag was alone and he decided to make the hardcore pressure on the Yag to try and clear out that side so he wouldn't stay stuck in a crossfire. And I appreciate it when I see players making those plays. It's very good. Okay. Mr. I-7 is still being a little bit aggro around this corner. Let's put one AP shell into him. Angle up that upper plate a little bit there. Very nice. Getting the good old ricochet. Looks like the 54 is here for support. Let's angle our haul in just a little bit. Boom. Braining on this dude. We're now going to angle up our haul just slightly. But oh no, we have insane amounts of traverse speed here. And oh, 370 heat says no armor to you, sir. No, our STB gets taken down. Looks like by the VKB. Trying to bait the drive wheel there, but unfortunately couldn't. Looks like the K91 should have a kill on this shot on this dude soon. And then the IS-7 should be next, or the IS-8, whichever one. I'll kill the IS-8, I guess, because uh, he has more hit points. Not a bad game. There we go. U100 did a good job. Me and the K91 pretty much carried this flank, though. I mean, the 54 and STB helped a little bit, but they weren't really that useful. It was it was mostly just uh, the big brain K91 there, me, that held off the whole flank. So not a bad game. U100 did a good job. That traverse speed's so nice, I swear. What do you study? I study statistics of what blitzed. I'm just kidding. Uh, business. <laughs> 4200 damage. You, Mr. K91, where are you? Okay. Ah, uh, no! No! I can't switch! Look, my finger is still on it. Uh. Wargaming, your system sucks. <gasps> oh, I sw Dude! I just, like, super sped, like, swapped and gave him the fist bump. I almost gave him the clover. 
But I just like in instantaneous swapping. That was that took some fast finger reflexes there. I had to do that so fast. I had to do it before the pop-up drops down. <laughs> I like that you, you, you called a good, <laughs> good player, Sire. <laughs> You're kidding on being graduated <laughs> sudden, right? I mean... Okay, how do I have a receipt in my pocket? That can get thrown away. All right. So, let's see what we got here. Enemy team are pretty mobile. It's supremacy. I'm a lazy bum, so I'm just going to go cap B cap, I think. This could be a bad idea or a good idea. Uh, taking caves with my team, probably the better idea. But, you know, if we do manage to catch the enemy team out a little bit here, it's cool. The only problem is my team's a bit split up themselves. The VK-72 on the enemy team is our resident stream sniper. No, no surprises there. Um, so we'll see how this goes. If he, if he tries to contest me at B, that could be a bit problematic. And he is at B. Okay. Before I get YOLO'd here, I do have a message to give to our resident Sheridan on the enemy team. Yoink. Very satisfying. Resident Sheridan getting bopped, but so does our Sheridan. Now it's just me versus this VK here. The VK actually has more hit points than me now, because uh, I'm running armor on this tank here. I'm going to go cap B for starters. I'm wait for this VK to overextend slightly. VK messes up his shot. Very good. That's giving me an initial advantage for this one versus one. As long as I don't mess up my shot, which I shouldn't, because that's an easy heat pen there. We can just continue holding this corner here against this VK. And, oh, Chad K91 2.0 coming in for the full send. Mans does not care. He is sending it straight into this VK-72. It's funny he shot to his lower plate. He's going to get a second shot into the VK-72. Heck, he might even hit all three because the VK is not angling up to him anymore. Ah, uh, he does ricochet a shot. VK now is a two-shot. E75 fluffing his initial shell there on the v on the uh, K91. So I might have enough time to kill Mr. VK here. There we go. Oh, it's a low roll. 530 with AP. That was not what I wanted to do there. Let's pull back from the VK and E75, who I'm sure both going to be working together. And now we are safe for now. Uh, my team is doing okay in caves. They should be able to win that. And it looks like the C75 is going to hardcore pressure me as well. So let's put a quick shot to the E75. Very cool. E75 will struggle to pen me if I angle up properly here. So let's just kind of angle up a little bit here. He is an absolute gamer, however. Let's angle the side of our turret up here to the VK. We have reload for about three more seconds here. VK being a little bit aggressive. Let's put a quick kill shot towards him. Unfortunately, that shot doesn't go through. I'm not sure where it hit. E75 penning my turret ring miraculously. What a what a S tier play by our mans there. And uh, let's just continue backing up from the VK into cover. Very good. We might take another one from the E75. Oh, we do take a track shot here. We're safe. We're safe for now. We're safe for now. Okay, I don't know how my allies are providing zero support here, but it's not game over yet because our E5 is suiciding instead. So let's put a quick shot into the, E70, into the E75 here. Angling our haul up to the Progetto. He shouldn't be able to pen that very easily. I'll just keep pulling back a little bit. Very nice. All our TVP is coming in the game on the E75 and VK. Cool stuff. Okay. So at least Mr. Progetto, who's going to pretty much YOLO this side over here. I'm going to see if I can take care of this VK first. It's either me or the E5. The VK was looking my way, so that's pretty easy. And oh, yes. Oh, yes. We got the 900 HG into the Progetto. That's what we like to see. All right. An enemy Progetto should not last very long. So not a bad game. I, I think we played mid pretty okay. The E75 was actually gaming on me. P panning APC out through my turret ring. Good, good on him. Anyways, the TVP is about the game on this dude. But oh, he gets taken out. So let's just kill him. Nice. So we like. Good game. 250 likes. Almost 300. Let's go. K9 super yellower. <laughs> 4.5k damage still. Shout out to the K91 chads that we have in this game today. This dude didn't do quite as well as our other K91. But he was a good distraction all the same. I probably would have died if it wasn't for him. So uh, thanks for being a meat shield. Ah <laughs> oh, man. GG. Potato. GG. <laughs> I'm currently taking pharmaceutical science. Ooh, sciences. That is a, if I remember correctly, that's a pretty intensive degree. Good luck with that. Did you want to get reverse speed buff too? He seems pretty quick backing out. I don't think the overall acceleration of the 100 was changed. It just got a lot better traverse, which makes a pretty big difference. So it may feel like it's backing out faster because you're able to traverse faster when backing out, which is what I was doing there. I didn't lose as much momentum. Stream the Minotaur Caro. Carlos Giovanni. No, I can't. 
Do you want Wargaming to get mad at me? Wargaming to be like, how dare you betray our trust in you? And they would yoink my testing perms. Not worth. Absolutely not worth. Enemy VK-72 is spotted in the open. Let's see if he gives me a nice clean lower plate shot. He does. Let's angle up our turret a little bit here. Very nice. Getting a nice initial trade on Mr. VK-72 there. And uh, let's see what we can do about it. This dude looks like he's content to just sit there. So I'm going to see if I can bait out my turret at all. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, cool. So he's not going to be too much of a threat. I can... Oh, man. We're not backing out from here. That 405 could mean real business to me. I'm going to act like I don't see him. But it's all just a psych because we totally do see him. Okay. Let your play now, 405. Let your play now. Is this going to back you up straight line? Oh, my gosh. I don't know what that 405 is doing. K91... Oh, uh, Conqueror goes down. Mads are kind of losing, so I better go and help. Kill the 405 and VK now. Interesting. I, um, yeah, I didn't know what the 405 was doing there. I thought he was going to keep backing out, but then he just debated me and pulled forward. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Someone's gone in the open. HE. Oh, fruit of fire. 940 damage down to our mans here. We're going to have to start pulling forward, though. 405 should be the first one to go down. Very good. He, I knew he wasn't going to survive for super long. 140 is going to try shooting at me. It's angle up to him. We got to clear out this VK-72 as quickly as possible because he's going to hold off my team. So I'm going to just YOLO around the corner here. We do take a tungsten shell from him. Looks like the 140 is coming in to shoot, the, to shoot him as well. Hopefully, 60 TP comes in for the support as to, to help me out too. I'm going to back up from this corner here. See what this VK does about it. Come on, guys. Am I going to get help? I'm waiting for his tungsten to run out at least. Okay. His tungsten has run out. There's the 140 here. Okay, this dude takes a shot from the uh, from the 60 TP. Let's angle up to the 140. Not doing a whole lot for me here. All right. Well, if this 140 wants to play, we can just play with him. The VK is still just chilling here. Yo is going to deal with the 140 soon. How's my rear looking? There's a tank behind me now, too. Okay, 60 TP is about to get bombed. Put a quick shot into him. Let's pray that our Yo can do something about the 140 here. He does ricochet a shell, sadly. We do manage to ricochet a shell ourselves here. Oh, of course, we get caught on fire. What on earth, 60 TP and Yo? What were you guys doing? Dude, what was our Yo doing? The whole time, the 60 TP and Yo could have pushed in, but they did nothing. Come on, guys. We have to kill the tank that's in front of us, or else we're going to get surrounded and die. Like... I don't understand these players, man. I could have had so much damage that game. Aye, aye, aye. Our yo took 10 billion years to push in and help me, and I, our 60 TP just sat in mid all game. Come on, guys. Aye, aye, aye. That's why it would be nice to have a platoon partner there. Someone that actually understands the importance of clearing a flank instead of just sitting there and letting yourself get surrounded and dying for no reason. Like, I took all the shots of the VK initially and on the crossing. You guys just had the pull it right behind me. We were together after all. So, sadly, we lost that. There wasn't a whole lot I could do in that situation. We did get close to 3k. I did take the initial shots. And I did ask for my team to help me by spamming SOS. But they just, they weren't interested. Like, you have to clear a side out. You can never let yourself get surrounded. Because you will lose 100, well, you know, 100, 95% of the time. In instead, those dudes just sat back for way, way too long. Kind of wish they'd just come with me when I initially asked for it. We actually would have won that pretty easily. Because that VK would have instantly died if the 60 TP and Yo had helped me. And then the 140 would have died pretty quickly too. We would have been fine because the rest of their players didn't have a ton of hit points. But that's all in the past. Let's jump back into this game. Looks like the enemy team have not sent anyone towards A, which is cool. I'm just going to push across. We're going to get ready to start nuking their TDs and stuff. Although if I can get an HE shell into their Leo, that would be pretty satisfying. I don't know if we can. Uh, he seems to be playing it pretty safe for now. There's the enemy's 183 being super aggressive. So they have a few TDs, but they're they're pretty split up, I would say, for the most part. Let's see if this 183 gives me a shot here. Potentially, let's aim it in just a little bit. Fully aimed in. Nice! 760 damage dealt into him. And so we're just going to pressure the enemy's spawn before they have time to react and turn back for us. Now, this IS-7 is playing defense and spawn, which is kind of cute. Um, really can't blame him. That's probably the right play to be making in this kind of situation. And let's see. He thinks he's invincible. Let's just put an HG into the top of his turret. Just to start whittling down those hit points a little bit, one bit at a time. I'm sure the 183 is going to rotate back. Leo's in our spawn. The Waffenträger is right around the corner. And oh no, he's stuck, which means he has no spawn liner 99% of the time. 
867 damage dealt. Very nice. Okay, cool. So Waffen Traeger getting absolutely gamed on there. It looks like we have a Hori starting to pull on in behind us here. So let's get ready to see if we do anything about Mr. Hori. I'll worry about the ice on a little later. Hori has just fired his gun. Let's see. HG in the side. Oh my gosh. A thousand damage into the Hori there. We now have a Leo in our spawn with the IS-8. IS-7 kind of needs to die soon. I'm worried about the 183's position, but I'm just going to send it. I'm just going to send it and wish for the best. Okay, the 183 tried to shoot at me, but it didn't work out. Cool beans. And now Mr. IS-7 is ready to die. Let's put one shell into him. Let's angle up our hull a little bit here so he can struggle to pen me just slightly. There we go. He is slightly above me, which means he might be able to engine deck snipe me here as he dies. But it's not the end of the world because he is now going to die. So we're going to once again take control away from the enemy team. They no longer have this IS-7 here holding off our spawn. All right. There's a Hori here. Let's aim this in. The shot goes to Narnia and he pretty much pens my gun mantlet. I mean, that's like 50% on my gun mantlet right there. But unfortunate. And that's GG. Not a bad game, I would say. We did our job pretty well. IS-7 is going to go down pretty soon. Fluffy Tracks, thank you so much for becoming a channel member. Do appreciate it. Yoink. Oh. <laughs> Getting gamed on by the IS-7 armor profile there. Oh, 183 is down anyways. Maybe I should have just aimed it. I thought that was going to pen, but uh, never mind. Not a bad game. Fluffy Tracks on Blitz. Once again, thank you for becoming a channel member. Do appreciate it. We're a player that actually would like to win the game instead of just having an account. Huh? Oh my gosh. 3,333 damage dealt. 33333. Three, 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 three. Not the highest in terms of average, but pretty a pretty unique number to get. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> well, you have to kill tanks to win, Blitz teams. <laughs> but only after getting two masteries, I realized it had to be with Cromwell B, Pain. Ah, this feels so bad, man. <laughs> Wait, do you have to get aces in the Cromwell B for something? I know there's some kind of event going on right now. I literally haven't played Blitz since I last streamed. Like, I haven't touched the game since I last streamed. So, if we're going to introduce anything interesting, I have no clue. Ability squad, let's go. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Camonet and refined new E100 meta. Am I... Wait, am I running a Camonet on the E100? Please don't tell me I'm running. No, there's no way. There's no way. I run optics on everything. I think there's only like one or two things in the game I've ever put Camonet on. Okay. Enemy team have a lot of really good TDs. We should keep an eye out for that. If we get over aggressive on this corner here, I'm a bit worried about that 4005 in Yag's position. So that's going to be my first mission. Let's figure out where's that 4005? Where's that Yag at? T Enemy type 71 is pulling up here pretty aggressively. If he tries to side scrape out, that's going to be his mistake because we'll just AP pen the front of his tank's corner there. Very nice little shot into him. I have a Chad Box TD. <sighs> One, two, one. I was going to farm you, but you know what? That's just as good. Oh, what? That looked like it hit the box there. Oh, well. I should probably just shoot heat at this point. WZ just gamed on that dude. Oh, this Type 71 demonstrate. Look, this is your typical Type 71 player. Instead of running away, relocating to someplace safe, he's just going to sit here. He's just going to sit here and die. Instead of running away to somewhere safe. Like, is this not your quintessential Type 71 player? They just YOLO and sit there. They're like, I'm invincible. You were blessed with good mobility for a reason. Use it, brother. Otherwise, you're gonna just sit here and die for all day. Okay, WZ, are you gonna help me out? Or are you just gonna keep sitting back there? I'm taking shots for you, dude. You gotta go. You gotta go. He's WZ AFK, isn't he? Oh, man. I hate Type 71 so much. The most rat tank in this game, easily. I'm just going to trade a one for one straight here. Here's a one shot now. There you go, WZ. Oh, were you just waiting to pick up the kill? Well, you fluffed it. I hope the type shoots you now. I'm tired of taking shots for you. Wait, what is the what is the WZ doing here? Okay, we pick up a kill on this dude. So I fall off the top by myself, which is cool. WZ was not very helpful at the end. Dang it, I wish he hadn't got the Amarok. He stole all my damage, because now the game's over. That type took forever to kill. That's why I hate types of ones. They are such, such Pepega tanks to deal with. Okay, let's see. Maybe if I'm lucky, the 405 won't have a spawn liner and I can HE him. You think he's AFK? No, he's just big chilling in the back. I'm unspotted, though. Oh, he has a spawn liner. Still at him for 808, though. Or something like that. 806, 808. All right, Mr. 405, it's time to play. 
Come to Papa. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't give the WZ farm on you. Ah, oh, darn you, 4005. You just had to let the WZ farm you. <laughs> Pick up the kill. Not the highest, not the highest damage, but at least it's a dub. I'll take that. Big brain WZ. <laughs> Why do you rely on your allies? It's a team game. You have to work with them to some extent, or else you're going to be like every other E100 player out there and just sit and spawn and do nothing. <laughs> so yes, I do try and play with my teammates and, and support them a little bit in the hopes that I'll get the roll of the die a good player to help me out. <laughs> Are you supercharged the 100? Easy. Supercharged uh, looks like a good choice. Yeah, the shovel less than you ordered is no bueno. I prefer supercharged. Okay, Supremacy Canal. Enemy team have a lot of heavies. Not the best med lineup compared to what my team has, which is Sheridan 62A. So I assume they're going to go A and C. I'm going to try and be useful and cap B right off the bat and spot the corner crossing. Or Sheridan should be okay player. Uh, we do find a wild M6 yo, and it's worth it. It's worth it. It's not worth it. It was worth a try. It was worth a try. Okay, we bounced the Fosh. The Yo seems to be a little bit stuck in Narnia here. And now I absolutely have no choice. I have to hit this HE shot or else I just wasted so much time. Oh, yes. We had a thousand into him. That was worth. All right, so Fosh put a shell into me. We are losing the corner, though. So I'm going to have to start backing up a little bit from this engagement zone because we will have tanks here and there. And it's just going to be a rather unpleasant situation for me. So let's begin our retreat from A. All the way into the back of our spawn. You guys wanted to see spawn sniping you 100. I got you, fam. Um, we are safe from the Fosh for now. I don't know what's on C. If they still have tanks on C. I don't know. I don't think they wanted to spotted me. He did not. Let's wait for him to get a little bit distracted. He is camo-less. I don't think he knows I'm here yet. Okay, he definitely knows I'm here now. He proxied me. Okay. So hopefully with the crossfire of a couple allies here, we should be good to win this. I'm gonna act like I'm not really paying attention. I just hope that that Fosh doesn't start dealing, trying to shoot at me here. Let's put a quick shell into his sides, tracking him. We'll pull all the way up to this building here. Hopefully my allies can turn back and help me eventually. Because I know that Yo might full send it for me soon. e is just going to kind of try and get to my side here. I don't think he's going to shoot heat. He is bone stock. So I'm just going to load up a heat shell. Nice little ba little pen into him. 62A, 50B are coming back. There's the Yo, as anticipated. We are chilling. 50B is about to brain on this dude anyways. Okay, 50B does bounce a shell. Since I have uh, adrenaline going out, I'll reload the 100 here so I can put a shell into this man's. 3200 damage dealt. My damage farming sash is... Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. E100 does pick up a kill on this dude, but once again, I have my adrenaline going for a split second there. I am going to out reload this dude. So let's get ready to put another heat shell into our man's. Okay, that was the Fosh, I think. Oh no, that was the Yo. Wow, the Yo reloaded way faster than I expected. But the E100 can't do much about it now. I mean, he can try, but it's not going to end well for him. e is just full sending it for me. He's trying to get an angle where he can bend me here. With a little bit of big brainery angling here. This man really can't do a whole lot. Put a heat shell to kill him. Nice. I7's in Narnia. We know the Fosh is in their spawn. We've done 4200 damage so far. The Yo can try pushing me, but the Sheridan 50B will take care of him. So I don't have to worry too much about this dude soon. Come on. Let's, maybe I should just pick up a kill on him. Just for security purposes. One HE kill shot. I don't want to waste my max roll, but I kind of want to get ready to start moving elsewhere. So I'm just going to get ready to start dumping on this IS-7. Give me out of Mr. IS-7. Ah, oh, the Stargazer is going to nuke him first, though. It's all over. It's all over. All right. No, I got scammed. I aim at his whole side and it hits his upper and it hits his tracks. Get scammed. Okay. Yeah, he's dead. He's not worth my time anymore. Let's go back for Mr. Fashi Poo. Fashi Poo's wandering into Narnia. I don't think I'm going to get Mr. Fashi Poo. Not a bad game. We still got a solid 4k damage out. And I think we did a good job there. We spotted the crossing. We realized our team was split. My team was definitely going to win D with the amount of tanks they had there. So what you want to do in that situation is just try and back out to the safest spot. And what I thought was the safest position was by that house. And it worked out quite well. All right. So this Fosh is just getting gamed on, isn't he? By the Sheridan. Oh my, this Fosh is getting game done. I'm not going to be able to farm him at all. Three. Three. He's going to get heat penned. Oh, Sheridan getting nuked though, but I got you, fam. Oh, never mind. 80 damage dealt. This is this is insane. Now, Sheridan got the fall off this Fosh who did a very poor job over here. <laughs> GG to the Sheridan. The unconventional player. <laughs> and uh, he looks like a female tennis player. Until you meet the... What? What are you talking about? I 
I don't really know any female tennis players that have a mustache quite as fine as mine, but I suppose they could be out there. <laughs> Bro, look like a golf guy. This is an easy hat to wear inside because it allows my head to breathe. Too much big brainery, you see. Alrighty, let's see here. Supremacy matchup. They have a lot of heavies and a lot of mediums. I think I'm going to take heavy side just because they do have a Super Conqueror VK90 and Type 71. There's a pretty decent chance they'll head this way. <laughs> now I get the Fosh armor. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's see. It's just me and a VK. Oh, but their type isn't here. Good news. Oh, 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 oh. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh my gosh, reticle stop being dragged up. There we go. Get a nice shell into the super bomb career there. Looks like their team is not headed this way, so I'm probably better off just cutting straight in behind these dudes as quickly as possible. Or else my team is probably gonna lose this pretty quickly, considering we are fairly split up here. All right, super bomb is pulling forward a little bit. Let's aim forward a little bit. 523 into him, very nice. And now we begin our forward march, boys. We gotta cut these dudes off before it is too late. So, full send, I say. Full send, I say, good sir. All right. Not bad, actually. We got, you know, like 1,100 damage right off the bat of this game. This SU potentially could be an HE. Let's see. Let's see if I get scammed. Okay, he's barely safe. Come on, pull back a little bit, buddy. I'm not spotted yet. Oh, I am spotted now. This is unfortunate. Oh, but he's not paying attention. I got scammed. All oh, this gun handling is so poor. So our meds are getting wrecked in the corner there. You know, it's a good thing I shot HE, because if that was AP, that actually wouldn't have penned, considering how low it... How is my whole team dead? Okay, my whole team is gifted, dude. Totally gifted. All right, one pen through the upper plate there. Cool stuff. Just me and a VK-72 here. We're not in the best position to win this because we have the Sheridan to deal with coming on from above here. Sheridan, though, quickly realizing he can't just full send it here. Type 71 is, however, full sending it. Let's put a quick shot on him. I'm going to move to a position that's safer than this. So I'm going to start running away from here. It's going to take me a while. I'm probably going to die in the process, but uh, looks like they're more the interested in the VK. Also fatty feet can win. <laughs> oh my gosh, thanks. Sussy donations, but thank you for the donation. I do appreciate it. Please don't catch me on fire. Nice, he hit my field tanks, didn't catch me on fire. All right, here's the wild Sheridan. Dawn. Let's just put an AP shell into him, I guess. It's already game over. There's really not a whole lot for me to do now. So I guess I will just accept my fate and die. Oh no, is that is that a TD behind me? I do believe it is. Yes, type, go for the face hug. My team was abysmal. I Maybe I should have gone with them. Either way, they should not have died that fast in the A corner. All of the heavies were out of the fight. Like... All their heavies were not pushing our meds, and they somehow... Oh my gosh. Fosh, zero damage. Standard B, zero damage. Sheridan, one shot. VK, one shot. Centurion, 700 damage. One, two, one, 700 damage. <laughs> my whole team combined did like 2,700 damage. Less than me by myself. But thank you, Tanks, for the donation. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, you're not winning when no one on your team does more than 700 damage. R. <laughs> that was a bad team. I was going to say, like, I know me and the VK were out of the fight initially for a little while there. But they shouldn't have died that fast. But considering they did absolutely no damage, it all makes sense now. It's almost impossible to win a situation like that, dude. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I missed. Did you guys ever tell me what the Cro the Cromwell thing was? Because I, I, I didn't know what the Cromwell thing was. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could look at news in-game, but I'm too lazy. So if you want to explain to me why you guys are playing the Cromwell, Cromwell B. <laughs> it's a to in game nowadays. I swear it is, dude. It is. These are your two-time players you get. No cap. Okay. 183 is out of here. Enemy team don't really have a ton of super strong heavies. Let's aim a shell in for this dude's weak spot. Nice. Very good. Getting an early shell off right off the bat here. 
That 183, the 60 TP, this comp finds us by himself, I believe. We can just full send it on him. He doesn't have any support. Now, I can waste time trying to set up a side scrape. That's going to give him time to run away. So, I think I'm just going to bomb around the corner here. Oh! That dude just got wrecked. Okay. He gets wrecked. Grill. Well, well, well. Hello there, sir. Come here. Oh, he doesn't want to play. This is so sad. All right. So, our meds are kind of getting bombed. I, I know we should probably clear the 183 out first. Our 263 is probably already dead at this point. I don't think I can do a whole lot for him. Getting stuck in the middle is probably a bad idea. I did get spotted through the rails there. No, there's the 183. That was the one I was concerned about. So as long as we know where the 183 is, we're cool. All right. I'm going to act like I don't notice the grills just to pre-game for a little. We're going to have to clear this spawn out first. That's for sure. Okay, there's the grill. Here's the 183. The 183 can't quite shoot me just yet. The grill getting a little bit aggressive over here. Let's put an HE into him. Oh, 950. That's what we like to see. Yes. Okay, and now if this girl tries to poke me again, I can just pull to this corner, angle up a little bit here. Even with heat shells, the girl doesn't have the best heat pens, so he should struggle to pen me. He fluffs his shot. The once one will give me a kill maybe here in just a moment. 183 is about to go down as well. Nice, okay, we should win this game. We, we should win this game with no problems here. Then again, teams have been known to throw, so who knows what happens. Okay, ooh, is that the side of a 60 TP I see? Hello, good sir. Take 640 to the face. Very nice. It's English to the 1 2 1. Very nice as well. Alright, E5 and Super Bonker should be fine over here. I don't think this dude realizes I'm about to reload, so bop. Nice. The girl should go down in a moment. Nice! Okay, so we got 3200 damage. There's still a few hit points left in this battle. I would love, 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 love to go farm some of these players out. 60 TP is caught in the middle of Narnia. Yoink, on the move. Oh my goodness, the gun half blessed me. We have a Skoda T50 coming on in on our side here. I'm just going to act like I'm paying attention to him. I have to get him to run away from me. Because I don't want to get clipped out by a Skoda T50. That'd be very, very no, no, no fun play. Oh my goodness, though. If he's going to do that, though. Oh wow, he actually played the big brain getaway play. No, I get scammed by the gun. Get scammed. Hardcore scammed. Okay. That shot went to the middle of nowhere. Shkoda only does 900 damage, which means I should be good to take out the 60 TP, even if the Shkoda shoots me a few times. Let's angle up a little bit here. Unfortunately, that shot gets fluffed, and that dude gets taken out. All right. I guess we can go for the Shkoda instead. Yoink. Oh, this gun. <laughs> it can't snap shot. This is so sad. This is so sad. This is so sad. Oh, oh, oh. E5 fluffed a shell. E5 fluffing a shot here. Yoink my kill. <laughs> Took me three shots, but we hit him in the end. Almost 300 likes, by the way. Thank you so much. Now we're trying to <laughs> that low of a tier when you have all the tanks that you can get. Ah. Uh, oh, wait. I need to read up and chat a little bit or someone to miss out. An event where if you ace a t for if where you ace for tier five guaranteed tank crate. I see. Masters and Cromwell for... Tier 5 Lucky Crate? Cromwell thing win matches for Cromwell 1k gold compensation for double. Get new aces for goodies. Camo for two aces in Cromwell. And Lucky 5 container for four and eight aces. Oh, so if, wait, wait. Is the camo good? You get a camo for ace in the Cromwell. Can it only go on the Cromwell B? Or is it something you can put on any tank? Now I'm curious. Because it might be worth whipping my Cromwell out. <laughs> if, if it means I can get a... A spicy new camo. Although I bet it's ridiculously hard to ace now, considering how many people probably have already played from OB. Do you play with gloves? Nope, just a single thumb sleeve that helps keep my iPad from freezing up. All right, we're going to go seaside here. Get some of that map control. And it looks like... Okay, yeah, most of my team's going up top. If they don't send anyone into B pretty quickly here, I'm just going to cut straight through the mid. We're going to cut through the mid. Something that's super important is if the entire enemy team is going A and you have meds stuck on the side, you want to try and help them as quickly as possible on the bridges or else you're probably going to just lose them instantly. So if I can take this inside bridge control away from the enemy team, then I can create crossfires and hopefully prevent my allies just from getting nuked. Now, 268 is a bit of a worry, but I still have a couple of heavies in town that can take care of him if he gets aggressive on my rear. And instead, I think me pushing up over here 
will provide my allies with a much, much better benefit. So we have this leopard one in the open here. Oh my gosh, 1,074 damage dealt into him. Very nice start to this game. He is pulling out. Okay, okay. Mr. 50 TP is now getting cold feet. And you can quickly see the value of immediately taking this ramp control if you have allies holding here. Because you see our Kron lost a lot of hit points. You know, my allies are not doing too hot over here. But me taking this bridge forced the Leo out. It forced the 50 TP to pull back. My team can just take control of the enemy spawn here. And all I have to do is just sit up here and hopefully farm these dudes out. Let's put another shell into this man's here. Very good. Our TI2 unfortunately does go down there. We are about to take upper hand control. Our AMX is a bit lost in the sauce, but we don't have to worry too much about it because the Yo is holding on to B side for us for now. I'm just going to wait for the 50 TP to hopefully give me a kill shot here in a moment's time. So 50 TP about to give me that kill shot, I think. Oh, he's getting cold feet. Maybe he thinks he thinks he's safe, but he's is he safe though? If he gives me even a little bit of that turret corner, we can kill him. Nice. Little kill shot onto him. Good stuff. All right, 263 is now YOLOing into our Yo. Same with the Leopard. Our Yo is toast. Unfortunately, the Yo is not going to drag them out like I was hoping that he would. So we're just going to have to wait back for a second here. Now, maybe if we're lucky, we can get the Leo. Let's see if the Leo pulls back. The Leo knows I'm here, I think, though. Let's see if he tries to run away. Interesting. The Leo has to be running through this side then, huh? But he hasn't gone through B cap. He could just be playing very sneaky. I'm going to go back for the, uh, the, the, um, the VK and Tortoise here. I'll, I'll let the Leo be for now. Amex TV gets taken out. Let's get ready to aim a shell in, hopefully towards this 263 here. 263 is just full sending it, isn't he? Well, if that's the case, let's pre aim a shell for the side of the 263 here. I don't think we can AGM, so let's just put AP into him. Nice. The 183 is probably about to bop this dude. Oh, he gets wrecked. Nice. All right, let's just go for the tortoise. That Leo is probably as good as dead as well. Well, tortoise is as good as dead. But I want my damage. Come here, little, little Mr. Tortoise, little Mr. Tortoise. Ah, I could have held my shot on. Well, it didn't quite go as planned, but uh, could have been much worse. This is true. I uh, didn't angle my reticle down fast enough there, which was my bad and nothing else. <laughs> I was trying to get a jump shot onto him and it went a little higher than I expected. <laughs> Rip the four. I, I would have had 4k if I didn't muppet that shot up. <laughs> Leo is still running around. Oh, my controls are freezing up on me. I keep stopping. What is this nonsense? Okay, there we go. 23 is probably going to go down, but we have double cap and like way more hit points than that leopard can deal with, so I'm not super worried. Yeah, that Leo's going to have to go get all the caps if he's going to win this, but he's too scared to run from town, which is easy claps for me. Very good. Very good. Uh, yeah, you go get A, brother. I believe in you. I have faith. <laughs> okay. E100, stop. Well, not your water control. Stop glitching out on me. I'm trying to drive here. Hello, good sir. Oh, it feels worth a try. Tank's a little too slow accelerating up there. Gamble that AG pen. <laughs> Um, Leo, you're just wasting time. I fired. You could have put like three shots into me there or you would have had way more damage. I'm just, I'm just saying. Oh, I literally just misfired. Very nice. I was trying to wipe my screen clean and I misfired. It's epic. You know, Leo. <laughs> Go for the damage, brother. Go for the damage. And accept your fate. What? Where did that shot go? <laughs> I don't really care at that point. 90 hit points is not going to change my damage. I already had 4k or 3600, so I didn't really care too much. I was just going to yell at the Leo because I was bored. Chat, please don't ask for nipple reveal. <laughs> yeah, have some, have some decency, guys. Come on. The M should be easy for you. Hmm. Trying to ace the tier 6 crumble now. Not sure a YOLO fest takes 90, 90 seconds to finish. Maybe I'll try a couple games at the end of the stream. I'm curious to see what this camo looks like. Whether or not it's it's something I want to try and get. If it only takes two aces the crumble, I could probably do that in like 10 games. But I won't do that all on stream. We'll see. Snipe a game. I will do that. I will do that. Once we get a good map, I'm already out of 4k territory. Although I still have 80% win rate in this tank. Big chillin'. So... 
so it might be it might be uh might be worth a try. Okay. Sir. Do you understand? Do you understand yet you have a weak side? Yoink. And this is why you shouldn't try side scraping in an IS-7, guys. At least not like super seriously, especially at a start when these tanks just aiming it at you. It doesn't really go that well. All right, VK is doing the right thing. He's corner peeking here. Fortunately for him, 370 heat still gonna go burr. Even if he gets really aggro on me here, which it looks like he is, he will pen that, um, but he's gonna take one from this dude. He does unfortunately ricochet that next shell there, but Oh, is that a 183 I see? Let's put a quick shell into the VK. I'm going to focus the VK because he's the one that's actually a threat to me at the moment. He's not going to poke me again knowing that there's multiple tanks behind us. But, oh, the grill's being very sneaky, isn't he? VK taking another shot for the team. It acts like I'm looking away from the grill for a second here. Psych! The grill takes another one for the team. I'm going to pull forward away from the yo. We're chilling, we're chilling. We big chilling here. We just have to maintain our crossfires for a little bit. The VK is getting really aggro on me again. Let's angle back up towards the grill. Luckily for me, the grill can't pin the back of my tracks very easily. Let's start angling back for the VK here. VK isn't super interested in doing much. Hopefully my allies can be a little bit more helpful. Put another heat shell through the front of them. Not quite able to. We're gonna pull away from the grill. The VK can't really poke me just yet. He's, he's a, bit un, a bit wary of what my allies are doing here. This grill is pretty annoying though, I will admit that. Dude's just not moving. He's just chilling here the whole time, staring. H into the grill. Fire should almost kill him. The grill is definitely suffering. I don't know what my allies are doing. The VK is a one shot now, though. That's good news for me. Okay. The Yo is getting mighty aggressive indeed on me here. It's can angle up to him. Want 450 bounced. Hopefully the grill doesn't shoot at me. Let's pull forward again. Another shell into this dude. 600 damage. The grill shoots me again. Very nice. This grill's wasted so much time sitting there tunneling me, but it's not going to work in his favor in the end of this battle. Very nice. Okay, we did a good job. But this is what I mean, like, yeah, the new turret armor is better, but it still doesn't make a huge difference. Because, like, against heavy tank brawls, it's it's definitely not going to make a huge difference. Sorry, right, HE. 950 into this dude here. I7 might be sending it for me, but I do have allied support. Sheridan's by himself as well. Very good. Not a half bad game at all. We got some nice HE shells, too. That's what we like to see. Ooh, Sheridan's full send in it. What a, ch what a chat. Oh, Sheridan is taken down. Good old tout engagements in the 100. Worked pretty well. Worked pretty well. <laughs> dobre. Siem dobre. Huh? Dobre utra. <laughs> I was an ace. <laughs> that was an ace, apparently. 4,800 damage, 1,500 blocked, but I was spotting, frontlining. Let's see how much XP I got. 1381. Wow, it doesn't take that much XP to ACD 100. Also, I am almost at a milestone for my account. 2993 career average. It's amazing. Getting close to that, pretty close to that 3000 career average mark. Not bad. Hi, Fanis. What's your next tank to review? Love your content. Hello. Um, not really sure yet. God, it depends. Excuse me, I have hiccups. <laughs> uh, what tank I want to do next? We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm sure y'all are getting bored of me playing every single German tank right now. Essentially, every German tier 10 is what I'm doing. This fan is running calibrated rammer. I run calibrated because I like that heat pen to do with Pepega Type 71s and stuff like that. Bet rammer. <laughs> yeah, you bet wrong. I started off with rammer, then I couldn't pen a Yag superstructure, so I got mad and switched back to calibrated. That's what switched it all up for me. I've always ran calibrated on the E100 because, in my opinion, it's like more of a trading tank than a DPM tank. Um, but I switched the rammer because of the DPM nerf. But now I switch back to calibrated, like a few games into the stream. <laughs> 113 maybe i don't know i'm not a huge fan of the 113 like i know it's supposed to be like super good and everything but i find it to be surprisingly mid so not super sure about the 113 myself All right hello 183 a quick shot to him bouncing the 183 getting a few ricochets from this from the tvp's heat we're gonna do the right thing on this map which is to instantly take mid control i've said this a million times even if you lose med corner you have to take mid control on this map oh 480 with ap well, it's always great to minimum roll, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? 
Isn't it just a great feeling? Minimum rolling a shell. Ah, love it. Okay, 183, we baited him into trying to shoot at me. I know the Hori is still around the corner here, so let's see if we can put another shell into him. Float up a heat shell just to be safe. 6R2, I rolled higher with that heat shell. Okay, team, are you going to nuke the TVP? He's like so in the open right now. No, you guys are just sitting back doing nothing. Welcome to this map where teams do nothing and let you die for free. Okay, take it back. I do see an opportunity here. The Skoda is a bit overextended. Oh, same with the 704, but Skoda's more important. Just put a shell into him. Oh, I had heat loaded. I'm a bot. All right, let's pull back from this whole re here. He is definitely going to put a shell into me. But it's not the end of the game just yet. Skoda's pretty low. I think I'll focus the Skoda. He is the more dangerous autoloader after all. TVP is kind of going for me as well. Put a quick kill shot into this fans. Cool stuff. You can angle up to this to this TVP. He won't be able to pen me if I angle properly. Same with this whole re. We can just pull back against this wall. This uh wall here. Very cool. Very cool. But we can't quite shoot me just yet. Apparently the entirety of the enemy team though is allowed to pull forward and shoot me. Let's put a kill shot towards this dude. But no, scammed by the gun. And my allies are just throwing like the biggest Pepega heavy tank player. VK, how's 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 it going? Thank you so much for keeping the 704, IS7, TVP, and and Hori from shooting me. I, I hold off the whole corner. I give my team the best opportunity to win by taking C control. And this VK is just sitting back doing nothing all game. He could have at least poked that corner down low and kept the I7 and 704 off me, but no. Unfortunately, I couldn't pull back because that 183 was still unspotted. That was the main concern there. 183, you're going to shoot. Now, if our TVP plays this right, he could potentially clutch up with the 183. The odds of it, though, happening are pretty slim. Although, it looks like he caught their TVP on a reload, which is really clutch. Just don't take a single shot. Okay. He could clutch up. You know, if a 183 doesn't throw here, FV, you need, if the FV, like, kills the whole re, we're fine. But if he keeps sitting here staring at the I-7, it's game over. That's actually not bad. It means the Skoda can now, I mean, the TVP can now t double tap him. Let's see if we can make this happen. But the TVP's running away. TVP, you gotta go. You can't run to Narnia. That's not gonna give us the dub, dude. You gotta help our, our 183 before it's too late. Is it too late? If the 183 hashes himself, you got this, buddy. Don't shoot hash a AP through the superstructure. Nice. A 183 kind of low-key gaming, but our TVP is throwing. Oh, he's lucky. All right. Let's see who wins this with this battle of the century here. The IS-7 is going to push her 183. You know, a 183 might be a gamer and just clutch this up. Let's wait. Let's wait and see. Gamer. Oh, the 183 fluffs his shot. Bad Pega 183. But is the IS-7 fast enough to catch up? Watch him ricochet. No, of course he doesn't. And it's game over. 183, you should have held your shot and waited for the TVP to come help you. And now our TVP spot in the open. And he's not going to be able to pen that. He's shooting AP. It's GG. Dude, dude, what are you doing? You're dead. I love this map so much. I love this map so much. I love how useless teams are on this map. Never helping you. <laughs> the only way to win on this map is if you take C control away from the enemy team, from that spawn. Our Yag got full health and did one shot. I don't know what our Fosh did. Our TVP pulled a flank, which is fine, but our VK is really to blame most more than anyone else here. Not only did he sit and spawn, but he didn't even stop the 704 and IS-7 from sitting there sideways and shooting at me, even though the TVP was no longer in the corner. So unfortunately, that game was uh, as a loss. It wouldn't have been a loss necessarily if I had managed to kill that Hori. It was a bit unlucky that that heat shell didn't kill him. Because if that Hori dies, I can just back around the corner, right? Because the 183 is being taken care of. But the Hori did not die. And so I, so I got gamed on. Very sad. I tried my best that game to give my team the chance to win, but my team just did what most teams do on that map, especially from that spawn, which is to sit back and do nothing. I don't understand why that... Like, okay, I understand if the TD sit back. I don't understand why heavies don't, don't push forward. It's like, you just have to drive, like, 20 meters forward, and you will win 70% more on that map. <laughs> like, that, that's how it works, but no one seems to have figured that out, I swear. Oh, there's an M6Yo, and ooh, a wild VK-72 is tracking in the open. Very nice. We do trade about even there. I am by myself, so I guess I begin the retreat here, because my other team is, is kind of pushing the other side here. Hopefully the E3 is not in mid. Okay, I don't think the E3 is in mid. Let's see if the whole remakes a play, though. 
Might be worth checking to see the whole re I mean, if the, uh, the yo pulls forward. I think he's thinking about it. One quick side shot to the yo, but RNG says no you. Sadly, that show goes to Narnia. Um, although my team is winning spawn pretty quickly, there is an E3 on B cap I will have to be concerned about. We do have this VK here. VK overextending Mega. So he's going to take a he shall return. Not sure if that's really the best trade for you to make, my dude. I can just keep pulling back. Hopefully, my allies provide some support, like, fairly soon. I think this VK is running is running calibrated here. Yeah, that angle could not pen me if it's not running calibrated. All right, let's just pull back from this corner here, away from the yo. I have a Sheridan yellowing into me now. So I'm going to pull back around the corner even further. Away from the Sheridan, away from the VK, away from the E3. Nice, the VK is getting distracted now by the crossfire. Very cool. All right, I think I can hold this corner in case the E3 turns for me. He is indeed turning for me, but it's too late for him. Nice. We are still relatively secure. I think we did a good job holding there. My allies came back eventually, which is all that matters, even if they weren't super helpful at first. Cool, the Yo's getting gamed on. Very cool, very cool. Nice, okay. That's going better than planned. Than, uh, better than expected. Although I don't have a ton of HP to throw away just yet. Mm, there's the VK, he just fired. I don't think he spotted me though. Oh, the Yo's pushing into the open. Let's aim this one in thoroughly. No way, where? That's perfectly gray sides. That should have been a kill. Oh, dang. I should have shot AP, but someone else shot him right before me anyways. Okay, E100 shared in VK. If I take one shot from any of these dudes, it's bad news for me. So, let's see. Ah, uh, the VK just fired. It's a little bit high explosive shell to kill him. Nice. I still have two one-shots in the 183 for support. And I don't know how healthy our other TD is. Okay, full health. Cool, okay. We can full send it then, I think. Let's see. I don't want to take a shot from the their E100 if I can help it. I know he's like in their spawn somewhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's gamer. He's turning around. Just put a quick shell into one. Nice. Oh, this E100's an absolute gamer, isn't he? Oh, he's, he's the biggest of gamers. He's the gamer warlord of this battle. All right, may as well just kill him. <laughs> Yeet, we get the dub. Easy. Not very high in terms of damage, but it is a win. Greetings from Asia Server. Hello. Play Karma B, Fatty. Uh, wow, I've been streaming for two and a half hours. We'll play a little longer than the 100. One thing I want to, like, are you guys interested to see how I do in the order with the 128? Because at this point, 80%, 30, 100 average is what my session is going to stay at. And so I can just kind of mess around a little bit for now. Do you guys want to see me run the 128 on the 100 for the memes just for a couple games and then... Uh, or, or not, like, let me know. I am able to compensate here. <laughs> hey, Jay, Mark, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Oh, I got these bots. <laughs> Big boy game. Well, the VK is one of the those players that just has an account, but has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> he's a sniper. Name, of course. He's gamer, not just Krami B. <laughs> you guys aren't interested in seeing stocky 100 gameplay? I see how it is. This is so sad. Actually, no, yes, yes, okay. No, please. <laughs> yes, memes, okay. Just for a game, just for like one game. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna tell you a little secret, guys. I would rather play an E100 with the stock gun than a mouse. And I'm not even kidding you. I'm not even joking. I played a few games in the mouse the other day to see how much effort it would take for me to eventually get it to 3k career. I hated every second of it. <laughs> that takers is so bad. Just because it's so immobile. Like, yeah, you have decent, like, everything else is pretty decent, but you are just so darn slow in that tank. You can't go anywhere. And with the teams, like, if every single heavy tank getting, like, a mobility buff, the fact that the mouse is still going 25, it's the slowest tier 10, is just pain. Okay, so the enemy team is pretty split up here. I think I'm going to split up just a little bit myself. We do have the Fosh 155, who is just fired. Let's put a quick shot to the AMX, 715. That's what we like to see. Skoda is up top. It looks like he is by himself for the time being. So we're going to just do a little bit of a roundabout maneuver on the enemy team right now. 
I don't want to get stuck in front of all of their tanks and deal with that frontal engagement here. Oh, we can eat his lower plate. Oh, 838. That's where Calibrated is gorgeous. Skoda losing all of his hit points there in a couple of seconds. Ready to be gamed on once more by Chatimus Maximus in the E100 here. The, the Progetto should have him no problemo. Progetto about to pick up a kill. Gamer type 71 pulling forward. Bop right through the lower plate. Oh, the Gamer Yag is coming in though. Can we bait the Yag? He's definitely gonna pen that. Ow, 770 damage taken. But will the Yag survive such an aggressive play? Who knows? Our Progetto is now pulling back in towards safety. We have a 50B on Fosh pushing through the back of our spawn. Now with calibrated heat, penning the Yag should not be too much of a problem. Let's pull one shell through his upper plate, angle our turret, and pull back to safety. We're gonna keep pulling back ever so slightly here away from the Jaeger We don't want to get take another shell from this man's type 68 being a little aggressive himself And I believe with 370 heat pen. I should easily be able to game on mr. Yag here. Let's see uh, He's not going stationary for long enough. Okay, our yoga's taken down There's a wild 50 B over here on my left hand side. Let's put a quick shell to him 530 We do take a shot from him. Uh, it's just me and I believe the Progetto. So this game is not looking super good for me and my remaining allies. Taking three shots on that 50B. How unfortunate is that? Four shots. Oh my goodness. All right. Jaeger is about to go down maybe. Ah, a little bit of a low roll there. I am dead. Oh, we get one ricochet. Get two ricochets. Let's angle that drive wheel. Allies are just getting brained on and Progetto's wandering in Narnia instead of pulling back to support our spawn. I'm not really sure what my team did there, but... We did get our 4k damage out. I think I did my job. The problem was the 183, the type, the yo, they all sat in an area where we had no map control. And sitting in C cap is suicide. Like, you shouldn't sit in there for super long. Sit there initially, get your initial shots off after that, pull back towards mid if you have to. Especially if the enemy team have no one in D, you're free to make that play. Ah, uh, gamer, get that kill. Easy. And now he's gonna run into, like, the whole, the whole squad in a second. I'm waiting for him to die. <laughs> Well, it's not my specialty. I love how some <laughs> point out that you don't uh, don't do perform well in that tank, but most tanks I'm decent in, and his stats are just <laughs> the mouse is okay. It does what it's supposed to in terms of being like a, a tank to sponge up damage for the team. But here's the thing: your teammates never capitalize on your sacrifice in the mouse, and so like, what are you supposed to do? Farm damage or sit there and take damage for your allies who never do anything about it? It's it's just in a bad space right now with how fast tier 10 heavies are, especially. Yeah, two of our heavies doing nothing. Okay, just for the memes, let's quickly do the Chad E100 gameplay. Because of the big brain E100, we're actually going to run the rammer for that Pog DPM. Let's show these dudes how it's done for a game in E100. <laughs> let's get a quick sip of water. Watch this game just be like absolutely insane. You know what I really want Wargaming to do? I really, really hope they give the 128mm on the E100 at least, maybe the mouse as well, 480 alpha damage, like what the M4 MLE has. Like, keep everything pretty much the same, but give it that 480 alpha, because the 128 isn't that bad, it just isn't that good. But if it had a little bit more punchy alpha and maintained its better accuracy and maybe slightly better DPM than the 155, it would actually be a really good gun. Um, so I hope we're gonna do that. I know they did that with like what PC. It'd be really cool if they did that with Blitz too. 113. All right, let's just angle up here a little bit. This is a very aggressive play by me. Luckily, I can angle my turret up against this wall. The enemy team won't be able to do a whole lot about it. So, 113 is pushing up quite aggressively here. Really can't pen him. Maybe an AP shell through the front of the turret. Nice. Quick premium round into him there. Showing this 113 who is the boss. Looks like the enemy team are sending a whole lot of heavy tanks here. We are bouncing another heat shell off of this man's. Let's aim an APCR shell. I7 does pen my turret ring. Very unlucky of me. I'm just going to keep holding here for now until that 18350 TP fire. Then I'm pulling across. It's my only chance of surviving here. Oh my gosh. That's the 183. Okay. Here's my, here's my chance to escape maybe. Oh, no. This is not going to happen. My team needs to do something. There's seven tanks shooting us here. Here's the thing, dude. Like, the E-Water turret armor gets buffed, but it doesn't matter because rat 370 heat pen guns just go through you all day, every day. Or they just spam HE at you for days. Like, what am I going to do here? How much are you going to just sit there to tunnel me, buddy? Another shell into this dude. My allies are, like, in Narnia right now, dude. I swear. They're all lost in Narnia. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Keep blocking your teammates. Let's go. 700 damage. 
Leo gets taken down. 113 probably has the kill here. Unless he fires heat into my upper plate. Let's get another shell into this dude. I did okay! You know, the DPM wasn't half bad at all. Meanwhile, this Chieftain is in Narnia. This Grill is in Narnia. Our Yag and Hori are in Narnia. Why did our TDs abandon us? We were seven versus three here. Seven versus three. And these dudes just wander all like Alexandre Castillo. <laughs> Steal over here. <laughs> Wandering on the other side doing nothing. Same with the other TDs. What were our TDs thinking? The enemy team had no meds. Why would you flank? It was an all heavy tank engagement. Shout out to the yo who actually tried to help me, but uh You know the 128 isn't bad at all. Like I hit every single shot that game. Also, the no matter how much your turret armor gets buffed on this tank, 370 heat is 370 heat. I wasn't bouncing that 113, no matter how well angled I was, no matter the fact that it was angled up a ridge, maximizing my turret armor. It's just ridiculous that things like the 113 get 3 340 base heat, to be honest, because they just rip you apart. Now I did I did actually block a decent amount of damage there, and I dealt 3300 before dying. Main kind of issue was the grill, the Yag, and the Ho Re. If they had flanked and then cut in quickly, we would have been fine. The issue is, I think they went all the way through Narnia. Like, all the way through Narnia. They they, they went, they saw Aslan over in Narnia. They they had, a, they had, like, a dinner with him. And then, and then they, like, exited and finally jumped back into the game. Which, obviously, it took, it was just way too long. I want to try another game with the 128, because actually that wasn't half bad. But it's not a bad gun at all. Hello from Europe. Hey, how's it going? Stock gun and remember, LOL. Dude, it wasn't bad at all. <laughs> just angle it. You have 370 millimeter armor. It doesn't matter in, in that situation. There's only so much you can do there. <laughs> the thing is, I can spend all game angling and doing no damage. Then they're just going to YOLO you like they did then and die anyways. Like, you have to try and work their tanks down while angling at the same time. I did block 1500. 3500 damage dealt. Top of the team. Grill did uh, one shot. <sighs> the Yag did two shots. I know because he got a huge HE. The whole re did like three. That wasn't bad at all. <laughs> oh man, this is uh, this that was pretty memes. We, I, you know, if those TDs had just been there to cover fire us, I would have been fine. I, I would have been fine and dandy. But why are tank destroyers sometimes the most fickle creatures on your team? Like half the time they snipe and do nothing, and then the one time you just need them to sit and spawn and do nothing. They wander all the way around the map. All three of them just wander off. Like, why? The enemy team had four heavy tanks and three TDs. There was no way they were going that side. <laughs> That's just kind of a meme. Okay. FP4202 stream. Oh, yeah. I'll have to consider the 4202 sometime, won't I? Might not be a bad idea. Okay, Chad, you 100. I actually like the 100 with the 128. I don't think it's better than the 155. But it's actually pretty good. Like the gun, you know, having a 10.9 second reload is a lot better than 15, obviously, but you're not hitting for as much. So you do have to poke a lot more to deal damage, but it just feels kind of nice. Am I weird for that? I know it's just like a word, weird, a worse version of the VK90 at this point, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just a strange dude who likes stocky 100 a little bit too much. All right, you're 50 TP. Trying to angle up to this dude a little bit. At least we do get one ricochet here. I'm gonna try and angle up to this Kron. I'm gonna have to use one more repair kit here to at least try and get as far away as possible. Kron's gonna put another shell into me. That's why I hate crossing on this map. Oh my gosh, the whole squad is just sitting here, perma-tracking me. Team, are you gonna do anything to assist me or are y'all just gonna keep sitting in Narnia all game? <laughs> this is why this map sucks from this spawn. No matter what you do, this map just sucks from this spawn. Nice, dude. The whole team's just sitting at B, not shooting a single tank there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that's the last game of the 100 for now. I shouldn't have crossed. I Their team was so light, though. Like, why would they send their whole team to park? I expected them to at least split up a little bit there. The issue is my allies were not nuking them back. Okay. So that's it for the 100. We actually still probably did more damage than one teammate that game. That just wasn't a very ideal situation. Feels bad, man. You can tracked. But at this point, it's too late for me to care. Okay, Cromwell B. I've never even fully equipped this tank. Is this the tank you're supposed to play in the event? Rammer. All right, let's see how long it takes me to get an ace in it. I'm curious. <laughs> Why don't you use gold boosters? I use it when I feel like I'm going to win a lot. When I'm streaming, I don't feel like I'm going to win a lot. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's assigned not to use the 128. Dude, the 155 would have suffered just as much there. Trust me. It's just unfortunate that I had to get hit in my tracks the whole time. And then while I'm taking fire from like five tanks on the enemy team, all my allies are just like in B capture. Like, I don't want to move or poke. I'm like, guys, they're literally all just sitting there shooting at me. You can farm them out. <laughs> Vanish the seal clever. Do I have side control mode on or off? I have it on. I was wondering why keys are so long. I don't care about tier six. Let's turn it off. All right. So you're supposed to like ace the Cromwell B or something two times for a camo. I don't usually seal club. But it's worth a try. <laughs> 340 likes. Let's go, guys. Maybe we'll hit that 400 like mark. Okay. Honestly, I haven't played this tank in about three years, maybe. At least not. Seriously. Um, so, let's, let's hope for the best. It's been a long time with, since I've seen you, my dude. All right. Enemy team of a smasher. Oh, gosh. Fatness seal clubbing. What is this nonsense? Okay. This is the ultimate E100, as you can see. If I'm right, this tank has like 12 degrees of gun depression, which is pretty cool. I don't think I can spot heavies crossing. It is 200 meters. Oh, let's go. There's that dude. Enemy armor is hit. Okay. Well, let's put another shell to this man's. Nice. He gets Enemy taken out. Give me a little bit of that spotting damage there. With 12 degrees of gun depression, I can spot this dude. No problem. I should have the reload on the Dracula here. Oh my gosh, that gun depression is insane. The Drac can't do anything about it. Very cool. All right, VK, get off my side. I need to be aggressive if, I, if, I, if I'm going to get experience enough to ace this tank, right? I gotta be aggro in this vehicle. I gotta spot up tanks. I gotta get cap points and stuff. All that good nonsense. Another shell to this man's. Done about 800 damage thus far. Let's put another shell. There we go. I kind of need kills if I'm gonna get ace. So I kind of gotta pick up some kills here soon. Let's see. Oh man, the 25 is already dead. SDRV has like a pretty nasty magazine. I should watch out for that. He has fired once. Fired twice. He has one more shell in the magazine maybe. I retract him there, I think. He might stay forward to try and poke me. He did not get baited, though. Here's the wild smasher. I don't think the smasher's paying attention, so we don't have to worry too much about him. Cool. Nice. All right. AMX is yoloing in. STRV's dead. There's the Interceptor and the Hell Kitty. Two rather nasty tanks I don't want to mess around with too much. Let's put one shell into the Interceptor here. Back around the corner. Aim for that track, maybe. Caliber's too low to track him. Get ready for the Hell Kitty, maybe. Ooh, high explosive in the Hell Kitty. Nice, 200 damage dealt. One more shell into this dude. Nice, baiting him. Bop, another HE into this man's. Easy claps, dude. Easy claps on the Hellcat. Oh my gosh, he's yellowing me. He's dead as a result. Okay, I have reload on this man's here. Boom. I'm a one shot to the Hell Kitty. But it's worth it for the ace. Nice. Get that fire. Okay. This tank's pretty good. Dying. I have not seal clubbed in so long. Dot 2,500 damage in my first game in it. Not bad. It's probably first class. We'll see how hard this thing is to ace. First class. Okay. How much base XP was that? That was 986 base XP. I still need like probably about 1,000 to 1,100. Let's go. My team actually won the 800 game. Interesting. Check out the calendar of the event section above Battle Pass. I think Fatness is underestimating uh, how many people are playing this tank right now, lol. What do you mean? This tank's actually, like, I don't see that many Cromwell Bs. Dude, the 12 degrees of gun depression is insane. I forgot. I think it's 12. Where's it? 13. You just go ham on the middle of maps. It's, it's, it's just crazy. Okay, tier 7 matchups are actually better for me because I get more XP from fighting tier 7s and tier 6s. Me seal clubbing in an E100 stream. This is embarrassing, but you know what? We do it for the memes. All right, put a shell into the Kunza Panzer here. Unfortunately, we do take a shell in return. He's going to back up. Probably shouldn't play the mid here. Um, my whole team's kind of just wandering in Narnia anyways, and the Kunza Panzer is actually pretty good. So let's put a quick shell into the Kunza again. Not quite able to hit him there. Let's see if he pulls up and gives me another shot. Maybe just barely. Boom, another shell into him. Nice. We're just braining on this dude. He's like, what is this? Tier 6 players aren't supposed to play like this. I'm like, yes, sir. We do. Okay. Unfortunately, my turret is way bigger than his. So I have to aim a little more than him. So maybe I shouldn't lose any more HP. Let's wait for a camo to reset. Okay, there's their Cromwell B. Tiger P's over here. Oh, interesting. I might be able to take advantage of that. I don't know where the rest of their team is. But we might just be able to make a play on this Tiger P as a result. Assuming they didn't send a whole bunch of tanks to see, which it doesn't look like with the 40, 40 TP over here. Let's put a shell into this 40 TP while he's in the open, by the way. Oh, is he going to pull forward again? He is. Boom. Nice. Let's see. No more second shot. Okay, let's go game on this Tiger P here. This Tiger P will give me a lot of XP if I can game on him. I would love to game on him as a result. 
All right, it's Mr. Taiga. One gamer shot into him. Now he has like insane DPM. Two gamer shots into him. Okay, he's backing into the open here. Three gamer shots into him. He's now a one shot. I should probably try and kill him, but I know the enemy crumble bees is looking for me. Is that a ricochet? Or did I just fail to hit him completely? Okay. I got a kill. Mr. Tiger P here. For a one kill shot. Very cool. They have a Kunza Panzer in the mid here. He's probably going to be looking for me. Same with the Cromwell B. Oh, my team is not doing too well. All right. Aim for a track shot. Cool. Did manage to track him at least. Let's aim for another track shot. No, I fluffed that one. Okay. I actually had a chance to beat this dude, but with his DPM and just yellowing around sweating and everything, that's not going to happen. I don't know if this tank has a whole lot of gun depression all over the rear. That, I knew that game was lost, dude. Anyone that goes towards A, even in tier 7, just gets ratted on. My tier 7s are completely useless players. <laughs> I think I got okay damage out compared to my team. Let's see, 1,500. Yeah, I mean, I don't expect a lot from tier six and seven. Let's try again. Sadly, could not ace that one. It's 13 degrees. The camo actually looks nice on the big tanks. Ooh, okay. Very sad. Oh my gosh, it's the smallest map in the game and I love it. Dang, I come back from the guard. That is me steel clever to crumble B. Yes, yes I do. I guess it'll be a little harder to ace this thing than um than I was hoping. I was hoping to do it in like 10 games. Two aces in 10 games. Don't know if that's really going to work. Uh, firstly, you have to have decent teams, which don't really exist in tier 6 or 7. It's usually just a yellow fest from one side or the other. And we'll see. We shall see. I, I haven't played this map in so long. I'm a bit nervous. Okay, I don't think they headed this direction. And then me Cromwell B is in the middle. And preem that shot nicely onto this dude. Maybe two taking a shot here. Okay, I think that was enemy's crumble B, but I'd love to put another shot to this dude. Oh, it's, the, it's the easy eight, just big chilling in the middle. We have this T25 AT. I think I need APCR to pen the front of this tank here. Even APCR won't suffice. Dude, just big chilling. The easy eight, also big chilling. One track shot. I don't think that dude can really hit me all that well. Boom, quick shot to this dude. Just braining on these fools. Easy eight, also big chilling. Psych. Bop, another shell to you. Okay. Wall, the T25 is on reload. I'm gonna pull away from here. But I see that M6 is coming for me. I really don't feel like dealing with the M6 just yet. So let's pull back towards our spawn a little bit here. Ooh, where can I hide to catch the M6 off guard? SU 100 M1 also rotating back for me. I don't know if I should hide or just sit with my allies. I haven't played on this map in so long. It's so weird. Oh, nice. Challenger's coming with. Challenger can be my meat shield now. Let's wait for this opportunity to strike. Enemy Bromwell, just big chilling in the mid here. We have an M6 not looking. Let's aim it a little bit here. 150 damage into him. Enemy Bromwell being quite aggro here. We're going for the YOLO. Since the damage is rack, I should definitely out reload him here. Nice little suicide by our mans over here. M6 still big chilling. Okay. This might take a little longer. Oh my gosh, this dude's just letting himself get farmed out because he wants to stare for me. All right, was YOLO across? We got him, gamer. We didn't penetrate their armor. Is that easy in the open by any chance? Almost, we hit those. Oh, they ricocheted off the side. I really don't want to be a two shot, but at the same point, I just want to kind of full send it. So let's go. On movement accuracy, definitely a no go for this tank. That's for sure. M6 seems a bit lost, so let's begin the process of elimination, but uh, my gun says no. No you. Goodness, how did I ever farm 2k average in this tank? <laughs> uh, what? Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> what was I gonna do? The, M the M6 just yells back for me. That's, that, like, AT just sits there staring at me the whole time. Like, I could do nothing on the flank because their whole team, all of their tier 7s were just sitting there staring at me. Like, really? So, of course, my team just absolutely big brains the front lines because they're heavy and heavy armor TD. Ay, ay, ay. What do you think about the new gun sounds? I think they're okay. I like some of them. Some of them, like the med guns in tier 10, I'm not as fond of, but I think the big derpy guns and like the really small calibers actually sound pretty good. The team's too good. I know, right? What to do? What to do? This take is harder to ace than expected. Mm. 
I mean, I know it wouldn't be easy if there's an event. It never is. But I'm also getting, like, kind of uh, Pepega situations where, like, like last game, what are you going to do when all of the tier 7s are just sitting there staring at you so you can't move, you can't shoot them, and you can't farm anyone else while your team is just cleaning up the front lines like a piece of cake? <laughs> Not a whole lot you can do in that scenario. Okay. Whatever, there's a much better scenario for me. There's the, there's the Rudolph. Nice. I just gotta farm this dude out as quickly as possible while I can. Nice. 12 degrees of gun depression life is pretty spicy. The Cromwell thought he could brain on me. But psych. Okay, with adrenaline running, I should still out reload that dude. Let's put another shell to our man's here. My whole team is approaching to assist me soon. Another shell to this dude. This gameplay is so weird. I'm not used to playing tier 6. It's wacky. I don't know how I feel about it. Dude. Are you seriously? That dude has a... He has his heart set on me, doesn't he? I hate, I hate tier 6s. <laughs> tier 6 in a nutshell. Cromwell, are you going to do something about this dude while he's just sitting there staring at me all game? There we go. Another shell into this man's. 100 damage dealt. They just keep sitting there staring at me, brother. Our oh, Crumble got nuked, though. Sag. I'd like to pick up a kill. Kill equals XP. Yeah, just keep sitting there and let the KV-2 nuke you in a moment, buddy. I believe in you. This was a wise decision. He's dead to the KV-2. Look at this dude. He's still staring at me, isn't he? <laughs> Never mind the fact that there's a KV-2 practically two meters away from your tank, right? Okay, that's a scam. Where did that shot go? Goodness, RNG be like, no, I don't think I will. Okay. There's a Hell Kitty over here. That's kind of cute. Oh no, the KV2 is about to just bomb the Hellcat. Captain Stingham, are you seriously seal clubbing? I mean, like playing a KV2 to stream snipe me? You're just gonna go around stealing all the damage and be annoying. I don't understand why you why you care so much about stream sniping tier six. Kind of sad, actually. Another shell to this man's here. This Brom will be, do be looking a little sad soon. Oh nice, we got the fire. Please don't auto load or clip me. Nice. Oh, he's shooting high explosive. He can't pen me. He he he. Probably another first class, but I don't think it's going to be an ace, sadly. I could have farmed a lot on that Hellcat if he didn't get nuked by the KV-2. Feels bad, man. This is sweaty. Hey, oh, I'm asking him. <laughs> uh, sorry. I'm trying to get some aces here, dude. <laughs> second class. Dude, how do you get XP? Wait. 944 is a second class. Didn't I get... Um, how much was this? 986 is first class. So you really do need, like, close to 1100 to ace. Whack. <laughs> In all fairness, it is a KV-2 shrug. Yes. This is straight bullying. It is. It is. Tier 6 is whack. This is a tier I never drop to, like, ever. Like, I own most of the Battle Pass tanks because I get them through the CC program. At least I get the Battle Pass through the CC program. So I get, like, every tier 6 Battle Pass tank. I've only played, like, three of them. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I have know like some of them are like, supposed to be super good, but I've only ever like tried a few. All right. I don't understand tier six teams or gameplay or logic. I need help, guys. I'm I suck at tier six. Like look at this. Look at this distinguished gentleman over here. Like like how am I supposed to comprehend this level of big brainery? It is it is too much for my little brain to handle. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a Comet. That thing has, like, actually good DPM. Okay, my allies are doing nothing, but luckily this M6 is in Narnia, so I can go for him. But we're gonna lose this corner here, so let's just run away when we can. Let's run away from there. Okay. Yeah, like, I seriously can't comprehend tier 6. It's so weird. The way teams play. Because I never played tier 6. It's like it's like a complete anomaly to me. Okay, let's see. Oh, 
Oh, a high roll. Let's go. Bop. We hit those. We're at 1300 damage already. Skoda T25 is over here. Our T29 seems to be gaming. Alright, Chito, Skoda, they're both just chilling over here. Big chilling, big chilling. Ah, T29 gamer blocking my shots. My track shot. No, let me at least hit one more shell this dude. Yes, let's go. Wait, we're at like 900 cap points. It's game over. What? What? What happened? How's their team so bad? Oh my gosh, the game lasted a minute and 55 seconds. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> like a minute 55 to clean sweep their team. Holy smokes, man. There's so many seal clubbers in tier six. It's scary. Like the Cromwell B isn't even that broken. That means if I fired like non-stop that game, I wouldn't even have 4k potential damage. <laughs> Yo, fat, just don't bleed in the early game and bank on clutching up at mega XP. I suppose that's probably the only logical way to do this, isn't it? I just don't know tier two. Uh, sorry, tier six. What, what's the difference? Tier six, tier two, tier six. It's just so bizarre. It's like I'm playing a completely different game. Okay, let's see. Um, This camo better be worth it because I'm nuking my career stats for this. By career, I mean like career average damages. Hello, Rudolph. Okay, they have a Brombo over here. Let's, uh, let's big brain on him. Yoink. Okay, we have hill control. We are gods. Okay. Dude just got brained on. Brombo. See if the Brombo's homies over there at all. Hmm. I don't know if there's a tank there or not. I'm scared of pulling around until I know where that KV-2 is. Ah, there's the KV-2. That Cromwell just got like the free ticket to getting an ace game right there for that ammo rack. It's like, you want to get the ace tanker? Just get free ammo rack. GG. There we go. Looks like the... Looks like the Juto is blocking his ally. It's kind of cute, I guess. There's that KV-2. The Thonker 2. Juto's bowling up here a little bit. There's the KV-2. It's one of the shell to him. We'll focus on killing the KV-2 because he's obviously the deadly tank here. Juto is next. Or, no, it's a Junu. There's a difference, apparently. <laughs> one kill shot on this dude. Oh, that tank at the back corner is shooting at me now. How uncreative of you, brother. Hmm. This is so weird. What does one do to ace the Cromwell B in games like this? Either it's like a super fast sweep, or no one wants to move, like in this battle. So that's probably the Hell Kitty, right? I'm a two shot, three shot. I gotta be careful. There's the Triumphant over there. Not looking so triumphant now, huh, buddy? Okay. Ooh, there's the Bromwell. Hmm. He's down down. Okay, we did lose HP. This is good. Let's go find some TDs, guys. Let's clutch up. Dude, they're probably looking at an ace if he wins this game. He's probably on so much damage by now. But will I let him? That's the big brain question. Okay. Cromwell take a shot. Oh, it's a Nazorn. Pull back. Nice. Okay. Nazhorn do be pulling back pretty fast here. 200 damage into him. He has like 200 alpha though, so I gotta be a little bit careful. Another 150. He gets tracked in the open. He is trying his hardest to shoot at me. Boom, 155. And boom, kill shot. Nice. Crumbles in our spawn. Hellcat has 225 alpha, I believe. They still have a victory in the corner down there. But I got to make a play quickly if we're going to win this game. Because that, that Cromwell is big braining on my team. Kudos to him. Alright, let's start by picking up a kill shot on this dude. Really? RNG says no you. RNG says no you again. Bro. Seriously, Hellcat? You're not going to kill the T3485 that's literally shooting you point blank? Oh my gosh. I got scammed, dude. With those kill shots on the victory there. Oh my gosh, the Hellcat's getting gamed on. Get gamed on, Hellcat. Let's see, the Ox is trying to 1v1 the Bromwell. 
You got him. You got him, buddy. I believe in you. Just don't die. I believe. No. It's game over. It's game over. The 3485 doesn't have the alpha. Nerf Crumb will probably ace this game because he got 900 HP Amorak, right? And then he just sat at the mill and farmed out my whole team and spawned because these dudes just sat there and died. Yikers. I shouldn't have died there. I didn't think the Hellcat was just going to be pre-aiming so well. But then he just sat there and let the victory kill him without killing the victory first, which he probably should have. Oh boy. We're in for some sweaty gameplay. Dude, you can just peek the hill at this point. At this point, you don't have much of a choice. He's going to play passive. This Cromwell got an ace. I'm, I'm banking on this Cromwell acing here on the enemy team. Just because he got 900 damage with a single shot. And then my my Pepega allies just... You're going to make yourself a one shot. Oh. And then my allies just sat there and let him farm the whole time. They're like... Like, all those dudes on the hill just sat there and let the Cromwell farm for free. Hmm. Dude, he probably went towards encounter cap. I'm not sure why you're headed this way. Oh, this is painful to watch. <laughs> I pet a pet one key. <laughs> the bro, <laughs> your left kidney. What? What should I sell uh, if I if I full E100 line? Um, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't recommend selling your kidney for the E100. What's the Cromwell gun handling so bad? That's a balancing feature. I mean, Trying to motivate this man's. <laughs> I tried to motivate him. Oh, he got spotted from the hill, didn't he? Where'd you get spotted from? It's all over. It's all over. The surprise factor is gone. 50 50 one shot for both of them, because that took us 190 alpha and he had 171 hit points. I. It's better just to go. You're wasting the time of the viewers at this point. Let's see if the crumble ace. The crumble probably got like 35, 3800 damage, I assume. 3k's an ace, right? Yeah, it's an ace. Okay. 3k's an ace. I still did top with about 2k damage that game. Okay. So it takes like 3k to ace. Now, mind you, the Krabble got like one third of his damage that game with a single shot. So. <laughs> so, yeah. RNG was definitely on his side for that ace there. Okay, enemy team have a Shturi Emil. SC-152, Type-62, 40 TP. They have a very solid team. Let's see, do I have support? LTG, Comet? Okay. We're gonna spot up the mid and big brain on the enemy team. We shall wait passively. Patiently. They will show themselves in due course. The first victim has been spotted. It is a panther. He has taken a shot to the face. I am as of yet unspotted. I will prepare myself for their crossing into the open. Any moment now, they shall commit to our comet friends. Also, they have a lot of TDs. I gotta watch out for them. There's the 40 TP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am nervous of getting one tapped by an SU-152, but you know what? Screw it. I need damage if I'm gonna ace this tank. So let's just full send it and and uh, and uh, cross our hands that we don't get bopped to the side by an SU. Oh no! Ah! Oh, he's stuck! Thank heavens, he's stuck! <laughs> I didn't expect him to be there of all places. Like, I knew he might be in spawn. I didn't think he was going to be in that position. Thank heavens he was stuck, though. Or not stuck, running the 120 millimeter. Or else my life could have been very, very, very turned upside down there. Okay, I think this dude's easy pen through the upper plate. Nice. We have a story mill around the corner now. His accuracy definitely is a bit unpleasant. I will give it that. You just got a snapshot and hope the shots hit at this point. Oh, of course the Shuri Mill hits that. Chad Shuri Mill. Maybe I'm being a little bit too aggressive in this tank. Yeah, the Type 62 sees me. It's here, Vanekin. I'm dead. We stop you clubbing. Oh. Oh, Pepega Piggy. Track. Come on, help me out, allies. Help me out. Help me out. Help hold me out over here. Help hold me out over here. Is it one shot? I think I have him on a reload. Let's go! <laughs> Big brain track shots for the win! We are 
We are epic gamers. Okay, there's still 50 TP back here, right? Or T50. Okay. Okay. It's a wild SC152. He has not spotted me as of just yet. Shoot him once. There. He knows I am in the vicinity. He is waiting for me. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. T50 coming in. SC full sending it. Probably first class. Not an ace though. Unless I got a ton of spotting that game. Let's see. <laughs> You're lucky he wasn't stock. Uh, yeah, I'm lucky he wasn't stock. You got a good point there, dude. First class. How much XP? 981. How much did this dude ace his chromo for? He got 1200 XP that game. Oh my. Okay. Goodness, I might have jinxed myself. I said I could get it in 10 games, probably, and I, I'm definitely not getting it in 10 games, guys. This is looking more like it would take me 25 games at least. <laughs> Seal clubbing big brainery. By the way, the first three hours of today's stream, well, maybe the first hour, two hours and 45 minutes were E100 gameplay. If you were dropping in just now and you wanted to see E100, there's two, there's like 36 games of E100 gameplay already streamed, so enjoy. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's see how this goes. All right, seems like to go up to the mid on this map at, at tier six. I hope this like, like not a KB2 just waiting to nuke me. I'm gonna take it easy for now. I don't know if their whole team's coming this way. Spark, LTG, it's me and another Cromwell B. Go figure, there's their Cromwell B. Let's just pop shell into him and run away. I'm a bit nervous, no one's been spotted up the mid yet. Oh! Oh, he just got one tapped by a K2, KB2. This game is such a meme, dude. This I tier six is, is memes. Enemy armor is hit. Okay, I don't think these heavies can spot me just yet. We've damaged them. KB2 Enemy obviously is my damaged. priority target here. Woo, scary. Okay, that was one of their TDs. I'm gonna kill the KB2 here. first. One of their TDs is back here. He thought I sting. Put a kill shot to this dude. Enemy armor destroyed. We are temporarily safe here. Love to farm these heavies out. But this M6 is just going to sit here and stare at me all game. And uh, they're, they're stupid. Um, <laughs> Maximus. I'm not going to pronounce that name. <laughs> Get demonetized. Okay. Um, 57. Goodness, dude. You can't pen heavies in this tier. It's just kind of sad. There we go. We've them. I guess it's game over. Oh my gosh. I don't like tier six very much. We didn't even scratch them. Oh, I didn't even see the hit marker, so I was confused for a second there. Oh yes, give me that assist damage at least, buddy. Give me that assist damage at least. If nothing else, give me that assist. It's not gonna be enough for an ace. I'd need like 3,000 assists to ace at this point. Oh my. Well, this is such an interesting experience. Actually, I got 1,100 assists, but I didn't deal, deal enough physical damage for this to be anything close to an ace, sadly. That Cromwell didn't get nuked. Maybe I could have had more. At least I can get my revenge on the Maximus Prime. Did you at least see the camo in the event if you want to go through with grinding for it? Uh, at this point, it's just like, I just want to get the... Uh, I just want to get the ace, uh, you know, based off of principles. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Track shot. Yo, we're pro. Watch, we're gonna game on this dude. If my ally doesn't push me into him, you Pepega, Locos, T34 to GFT. What was that? Garbage. Garbage. I could have, if I'd killed that dude, if I'd killed that dude, I would've got some XP off of it, right? I would've had 2k damage, 1100 assist. I actually might have been enough for an ace. I don't know how much assist damage impacts your XP in tier six, but that was probably second class. Okay, 894 XP. Maybe if I'd killed him, it could've been close to 1k. I don't know how that works. Pepega WZ T34 2 GFT. Arr. <laughs> HRF can't even M crumble B the, sh the shame washed brother like every okay someone go to blitz stars and just see the 30 day 
the 30 day in the Cromwell be? Let's just see how many players have played that tank in this week. I'm sure it is a ton. Especially if there's an event. Because I knew you could technically get the Cromwell B for free in the event. And the Cromwell B is kind of like a legendary status tank. So I could definitely see a lot of players playing it right now. At this point, though, it's, it's shameful that I haven't aced it in eight games. I just suck at tier six, obviously, even though technically I'm the number one rated Cromwell B player on Blitzstars in terms of average win rate combination. Doesn't matter. Still can't ace. Guess we got to try those caps on Supremacy. Ah, just cap all the bases. This is a great idea. Oh my gosh, they got triple Cromwell Bs and a platoon of them. Ah! This is gonna... I have to ace this tank twice, they said? Is this worth... I got like a 10 hour stream to do tomorrow. Watch me just play the Cromwell B for 10 hours tomorrow trying to ace it. And that's the whole stream. They have triple Cromwell Bs. Two of which are in a platoon. They have a VK2801. Tiger 1, T25 2. I have a Black Prince, KB1S. My half my team is in Narnia. I don't know how I feel about this one, Chief. What I do feel is unease about taking the 500 damage right off the bat. Oh my gosh. Yep, very typical. Just YOLO into me. YOLO into me harder, Pepega Piggies. That's right. Thanks for the help, allies. Or should I say not? Yoink. Oh, 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 nice. He gets killed. Very good, very good. All right. So the Cromwell's got a little overdressive here. Looks like the enemy team have tanks uh, all on C, but not maybe not fully committed here. Yoink. Oh, get wrecked. Get wrecked, you yellowing Pepegas. Yes. Feel my superiority over you in tier six. I am the captain now. Oh, there's the tiger. I got to find the tiger out if I'm going to get damaged this game. I want to get damaged. No! My kids. Oh my goodness. Wait, 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 wait. Let's track the tiger. Nice. Give me the assist damage. Give me that assist damage. Sweet, sweet old assist damage. Let's go. 1300 dealt. It's it's over, dude. These games are so sweep. They had three Cromwell Bs and it doesn't make a difference at all. Oh, track. Give me that assist. Okay, okay. Is he gonna move at all or is he just gonna sit there and die? I think he just accepted death. Enemy armor is Bro, tier six is whack! What is this tier? It's like... I can't do anything to get XP. Cause they're- dude. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Interesting E100. Yes, like I stated, if you look at Aftermath, there's 36 games logged in the E100, which means I've played all those games before this, so. Uh, third class. Even worse than last time. Okay. If we don't ace it on the 10th go, then we just call quits because I got to stream tomorrow, which means... Hmm. Your boy's going to be a little busy. You, you, you feel me? Go be a little busy tomorrow. Then I have a semester startup after that. So, oh, we're at 20, 29,840 subs. So we've gone up 20. We are only 160 subs away from the 30k mark. Maybe we can pull it off tomorrow. Maybe. If we can, that'd be pretty cool. If we pull it off tomorrow, then the 10 hour stream is perfectly, uh, perfectly suited. I should just live the stream, streaming, playing what blitz till I reach 30k subs. Will I die or will I reach 30k subs first? Question mark. That's such a great title, isn't it? <laughs> it's hard. It took me 87 games to get it. I wouldn't be too surprised, Angel. I, I honestly wouldn't be too surprised. Like, two, two, six teams are very hit or miss. I mean, so are all teams in this game, but especially the seal clubbing tiers. Put a quick shell versus dude. Ay, ay, ay. The shell velocity, not very fuego. Mm hmm. Okay, enemy crumb would be big chilling over here. Yeah, you just keep spawn sniping, buddy. That's gonna get you all that XP needed for those ace tanker badges. I am positive. Not. Okay, let's run away from here for a little. I take up some tanks on B. I think instead of taking those medium tank engagements, I should be bigger brain and go for their heavies and kill their heavies. Except if those heavies happen to be KB twos, in which case I'm gonna take it passively. All right, let's see what the bulldog does. Yeah, pull forward, buddy. Right into my gun. Let me use this tree as camouflage. Okay, tree as camouflage does not work. What is this game? Ay ay ay. Ooh, panther. If I farm the panther, that means free damage, right? That means a uh, better experience than farming, farming the other dudes. Is he gonna run away? Is he gonna run away? Run up top. Do it. I dare you. Yes. 
Give me that high XP numbers, buddy. Okay, where's that KV-2 at? I don't know. Where's the Bromwed? I see his- I see his spawn sniping exploits are working quite well. Oh, there's the KV-2. Wacko. Alright, another shell into you. I like how I'm spawn sniping as well, so it's kind of just a meme that we're just all spawn sniping now at this point. Oh, their whole team is practically dead, so it doesn't really matter. VK2801, is he AFK? Let's go find out. Or is he just gaming on my teammates? Ah, oh, the KV2 is about to nuke this dude. Yo, KV2, I'm gonna take the satisfaction away of one-tapping him. <laughs> I was just joking, right? I just want the assist, so give me that track damage. Good. Good, good. Yes, give me that assist, buddy. Okay. I didn't want to shout him anyways. Cool beans. Oh, hi. Hello, KB2. We hit those. We don't hit those. We hit those, though. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's see. Oh, boy. I kind of wanted to ace this tank at least once. At least once. But these games are all kind of, like, unaceable. Oh, I should have gone for caps. What was I thinking? If I'd capped the bases, maybe I could have aced it. But no. My small brain forgot about caps. Ay ay ay. Me big stupid. Come on, come on, give me that kill, give me that kill, give me that kill, give me that kill. Mine. We're gonna cap out! No, this is actually a decent game in terms of farm potential, but we're actually gonna cap out. It's too late. We're at 920 cap points. I'm better off just full sending it on this dude. We capped out. This is so sad. So much potential. So much potential, and it's so far away. So likes me who doesn't have everything in game. <laughs> That's the fun part, then you get them all at all. What are you doing now, <laughs> baby? <laughs> Second class. Uh, this is sad. It's like an addiction, it's like I want to get the ace, I have to get the ace. Like, I have an 80% win rate, and almost 2k average, which is pretty okay in a crumb will be, I would admit, but uh, supremacy, no. Tier 7, FV201, SP1C, 40TP. They have a Cromwell. They have a Panther of some kind. It's me and a couple tier 6s. If we can win Dune's engagement, we get good farm. We'll see. We'll see. This is our last ditch effort. I'll make sure to unsub tomorrow just to be the 30k sub. Oh my gosh, imagine. You'll have to take a screenshot then. <laughs> Hello, Panther. Well, that's not good. That's like a 3k DPM British heavy that will annihilate me. Now, luckily, he shouldn't have the best gun handling, so I might be able to hit him in the crossing here. But after that, I'm, I'm getting the heck out of here before I get yoloed by the Pepeka Pick and Splatamuses. Or maybe it's not the end of the world. We hit those. Bad accuracy or not, you can sometimes still hit those in the Cromwell. I like it. Tiger 131 spotting up all, all of the enemy team. Alright, APCR. Nice. Let's aim another one into this dude. Nice. Maybe if I can pick up that kill, that'd be perfect. That's a tier 7, which means more XP, but... The game is not kind to me like that. Alright, I think probably best play for me now. Probably pull into the middle of the map. Get safe from the crossfires and whatnot. We might take one from the chieftain, but it's okay. Just one shot from that Churchill, not chieftain. He's gonna get a shot up the rear soon. 45 TP's here, buddy. Tiger, please don't block me. Thank you. I think this panther wants revenge, but we get a quick shot into him. It's all about that big brainery gameplay, you see. First one that needs to go down is this Cromwell here. Oh, no, 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 it's an FE301. Please don't shoot at me. Shoot at him, not me. Enemy armor nice, he's just yellowing. I gotta keep pulling back though. They have so much DPM, dude. Oh, don't shoot at me. Shoot, shoot at the other mans. Hee 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 hee. Cool, cool, cool. We didn't even scratch them. This actually has potential as a game. As far as damage farming goes, this game does have potential in it. Focus on the tier 7s and pick up some kills right now. Go. 
Yeah, don't hit those, buddy. I hit those. Okay, three kills. Dang it, what happened to the rest of their team? It's just the FV now, so I won't get to farm them out. Come on, come on, let me get the kill at least. That's a top gun. Top gun, 2k, front line, spotting damage. Think it's good enough? Let's see. If not, then I'll just try to do it solo later on. First class, isn't it? It's a first class. It's probably about close to 1k XP though, right? 1017? That was so close to an ace. I, I, I bet I was only like 100 XP, less than 100 XP away from acing it there. Oh well. It was a good try. We'll get it another time. How many games do I have? 142 games, 20,000 average. I've only aced it once. Gosh, I was so bad. Oh wait, never mind. I forgot. <laughs> it, it doesn't count your ace bars from like five years ago. Alrighty, alrighty. So that's it for today. We had a pretty good streak overall. I would say Mr. E100. Overall, I think it's better. Also, I probably should swap back to the 128 before things get too, before I forget about it. Uh, I think the 100 is overall a, that's not how you reset your ammo. I'm so dumb. Um, overall, it's a better tank than it used to be. I'll serve Le Bobby here if you wanted to say hi. Um, so yeah, good stuff. Almost 400 likes. Thank you so much to everyone who dropped by today's stream, who donated, the mods, just communicated in chat and all that good stuff. Do appreciate it. Unfortunately, we couldn't ace the, cr cr the Cromwell B. We ended in failure. It's okay. I will get the aces now based on principle. I have to. Just not on stream, because I need to let my voice rest if I'm going to be doing a mega long stream tomorrow. Which, we are very close to that 30k sub mark. We are 160 away. 160 away from greatness. So, Bobby and B, wish you guys all a great night. I will hopefully see you tomorrow. It's not set in stone. But I will try and get you that epic long stream that I was promising for 30k. Just because once my semester starts up, I'll be way too busy to have that amount of free time for what Blitz is streaming. I would just exhaust myself. Unbelievably. Right, Bubby? She's like, you're annoying human. Okay, guys. Have a great night, morning, midday, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Take care. I will see you later.